Chapter 1321 Terrifying Cloud Chasing Heaven Swallowing Sparrow Translator Born to be boss, maybe you should let me go instead, said Gu Yang worriedly. He was worried Meng Chi wouldn't be a match for Luo Mingheo. Right now, in the Dragonblood Legion, Long Chen was under the effects of the curse and couldn't fight. Wild was in slumber, and Yu Zifeng's soul was in his sword. The strongest ones in the Dragonblood Legion should be he and Tang Wanur. Long Chen shook his head. If you want to find someone in the Dragonblood Legion who can fight against a rank 9 celestial, right now the only one is Meng Chi. Long Chen was aware of the truth, as was Tang Wanur, or she'd have long since attacked. What's so good about Long Chen? There's no need for a flower to waste away in manure. It'd be better for you to join my ancient family alliance. Luo Minghao looked at Meng Chi with adoration. This bastard must want to die. All the Dragonblood warriors were infuriated by Luo Minghao. He was clearly humiliating Long Chen by inviting Meng Chi right in front of him. Long Chen indifferently looked at Luo Minghao. He had seen many people like him who relied on their talent, their cultivation base, and their background. They viewed others as beneath them. From the eastern wasteland to the central plains, Long Chen didn't even know how many such people he had killed. He had already grown numb. Meng Chi shook her head and sighed. I didn't want to kill anyone. But why did you have to be so loathsome? And you're so sinister too. Despite knowing that Long Chen is under a curse and can't fight, and his cultivation base is still at the foundation forging realm, you continuously try to humiliate him. If Long Chen wasn't cursed and his cultivation base was at the Jade Core realm, you wouldn't even be fit to carry his shoes. Your strutting around has angered me. So you should be careful. When I attack, it won't be to exchange pointers with you, but to take your life. Meng Qi's voice clearly rang in everyone's ears. Her voice was like immortal music, but everyone could feel her fury and killing intent. Take my life? Ha ha ha, what a huge joke. Do you want to bet? How about if you lose, you become my Dao companion, sneered Luo Mingheo. Buzz. Meng Qi formed a hand seal, and eight colored runes appeared behind her. Suddenly. Her soul energy erupted. When Meng Chi summoned the manifestation of a rank 8 celestial, all the life star experts' expressions changed. Even they felt their souls shake. That meant Meng Qi's spiritual strength was so strong that it could even threaten them. It had to be known that this was just the release of her aura, not an attack targeted toward them. From this, it could be seen that Meng Qi's soul energy had been condensed to an extremely terrifying level. Just as Meng Chi summoned her cry of the heavenly Deos, a huge figure appeared behind her. It was humanoid and 30 meters tall, with a sword in one hand and a pair of wings on its back. It immediately slashed its sword at Luo Mingheo. HMPH, a little rank 8 celestial dares to challenge me. Lu Mingheo let out a single relaxed punch and didn't even summon his manifestation. There was a violet ring on his finger, which was a powerful soul item. It unleashed violet light that wrapped around his fist. Boom. The sword was easily blocked by Luo Mingheo, but his expression suddenly changed, because his soul item was actually not able to completely absorb Meng Qi's spiritual attack. He immediately felt like a million needles were stabbing his mind, and he almost shrieked. The illusory figure once more slashed out its sword. Its movements were nimble and quick as if it came from an expert of the sword Dao who was unleashing consecutive strikes. Nine flowers manifest the heavenly Deos. Luo Mingheo immediately summoned the peak manifestation of a celestial. Heaven and earth trembled as all the heavenly Dao energy in the world was stripped away. All the experts present felt the amount of heavenly Dao energy they could use sharply drop. This was the most domineering aspect of rank 9 celestials. As long as they summoned their manifestations they would be able to suppress all other celestials. Luo Mingheo once more sent out a fist, and this time, there were countless heavenly Darunes wrapped around it. In front of this terrifying heavenly Dao energy, the illusory figure Meng Chi had summoned instantly shattered. But just as it did, they felt something was off. Why had the sky suddenly darkened? What's that? Just at this moment, they realized a huge figure had appeared in the sky. A claw smashed down. Its speed so great that space rumbled. An ear-piercing sound came from it. Boom. It happened so suddenly that Luo Mingheo didn't even have time to use a weapon. 
he could only form a hasty hand seal, condensing a nine-colored runic barrier in front of him. That runic barrier was incomparably tough, as it was one of the special defensive arts of a rank nine celestial. But the claw suddenly unleashed strange fluctuations, and the shield was instantly pierced. The claw continued at Luo Mingheo without pausing. What now Luo Mingheo was really shocked. He had never expected one of his strongest defensive moves to be so easily broken. His body suddenly began to shine. He punched, unleashing a huge fist image as he flew back. That fist image was shattered by the claw, and then the claw landed on Luo Mingheo's body. He immediately vomited blood. Everyone here was shocked by this sudden change. Before they could even understand what was happening, Luo Mingheo had been injured. He had only just been sent flying when space shuddered. A huge beak devoured Luo Mingheo. Heavens, it's the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow. Menchi stood at up cloud's head. Its wings were spread, and countless runes revolved around them. It suddenly skyrocketed into the air. It opened its mouth, and a large earthen pot was spat out of it. That pot seemed ordinary to the eye, and yet it released a terrifying pressure. It was actually an ancestral item. The pot shrank, and a figure flew out of it. It was Luo Mingheo, but now he was disheveled and covered in injuries. Blood dyed his robes. It looked like he had been cut by millions of blades. Now Luo Mingheo no longer had his old arrogance. Instead, there was fear in his eyes. When he had been swallowed into Cloud's stomach, he had entered a strange space, and within it were countless invisible threads constantly cutting the space. He had been almost turned to dust by these threads. After a moment's struggle, he suddenly realized he was helpless against this power, and he became covered in wounds. If he hadn't had an ancestral item, he'd have definitely died in Cloud's stomach. Now that he had escaped death, he became covered in cold sweat. Spirit net traps all life. He had only just escaped when the world shuddered. An invisible spiritual net covered the air around him. He instantly felt like his body was bound by spiritual strength and he became unable to move. After obtaining the myriad spirit diagram, Menchi had only managed to activate a portion of its power and obtain a small part of its inheritance, but it had still increased her power by a terrifying amount. As for Cloud, having entered the myriad spirit diagram, it had obtained its ancestor's complete inheritance, and was no longer the old Cloud. Countless runes lit up on its wings, and clouds seemed to split into two. It was like everyone's vision had blurred, and a second identical cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow appeared. That second cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow shot at Luo Mingheo. Luo Mingheo hastily tried to use his ancestral item to block, but he realized his spiritual strength was greatly restricted by Menki's soul art, and his speed had dropped by half. The earthen pot had only just managed to appear in front of him, but he couldn't even activate any of its power before Cloud's attack struck him. Boom. Space shuddered. The second Cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow vanished, while Luo Mingheo and his earthen pot were blown into the distance. Luo Mingheo slammed into the ground and continued all the way out of the Zhuanshan Plaza. According to reason, such a huge impact would definitely smash a hole in the ground. But just as Luo Mingheo had been about to hit the ground, the Zhuanshan Tower had lit up, and a golden light had appeared on the bricks. The ground was fine, but Luo Mingheo violently vomited blood, not even knowing how many of his bones had broken. Everyone was shocked. A rank 9 celestial was actually being beaten so one-sidedly? The sky suddenly dimmed and Menchi stood at up Cloud's head, slowly descending. Cloud's huge body shone with rainbow light making it look like a rainbow starry sky. Despicable. To actually use external power. And what a brazen beast. Seeing Luo Mingheo being beaten, one of the life star experts of the ancient family alliance flew out in front of Cloud, attempting to block it. But he was instantly killed by a golden light from the Zhuanshan Tower. Within my Zhuanshan Dao sect, try to follow the rules. If you want to die, just say it directly and I'll help you announced Long Chen. Cloud's power even shocked Long Chen. Right now, it was truly terrifying. Adopt Cloud's head, Menchi had completely bound Luo Mingheo with her spiritual strength. Suddenly, Cloud slammed down toward the ground. Chapter 1322 Everyone Scatters Translator. 
Born to be Cloud was so fast that it looked like a huge rainbow star had smashed into the ground. The ancient family alliance's experts all turned pale. None of them would have thought that the seemingly frail Menchi, an immortal fairy-like existence, would actually be so vicious and launch a death blow at Luo Mingheo. Each one of her attacks had been merciless. Her spiritual attacks were to give the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow a chance to attack. After three consecutive attacks, Luo Mingheo was in desperate straits. With an explosive sound, Cloud flew to the ground and smashed its wing at Luo Mingheo. The entire Zhuangshan Dao sect shook fiercely, but Meng Qi saw that Cloud's attack had missed. Luo Mingheo had used some unknown technique to escape her spiritual lock and vanish. Die. Slot. Just at this moment, a furious row rang out, and the space behind her split open. A sword pierced toward her back. The attacker was Luo Mingheo. There were spots of light covering his body now. It was like he was in between reality and illusion, having no substance to his body, but his attack contained a heaven-toppling power. This sword would definitely cause a fairy to fall if it struck Men Qi's body. Luo Mingheo hated Men Qi now. She had caused him to lose face, and so he truly wanted to kill her. But just as his sword was about to reach her body, a rainbow feather dress appeared around Men Qi's body, and the runes on its feathers lit up forming a barrier that protected Men Qi's back. Luo Mingheo's incomparably sharp attack instantly rebounded upon contact with the rainbow feather dress's defenses. An ancestral item. Luo Mingheo was shocked. He hadn't expected Men Qi to have an ancestral item protecting her. Just as he was shocked, a large claw slammed toward him. Luo Mingheo slashed his sword at Cloud's claw. Sparks flew. Cloud was fine, but Luo Mingheo was forced back. Luo Mingheo couldn't help being shocked. Just at this moment, someone from the ancient family alliance warned him, that's a cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow. Its physical body is powerful, and its speed is peerless. Be careful. Cloud suddenly let out a bird cry, and the runes on its feathers began to light up with a mysterious cadence. It opened its mouth, and a black light suddenly shot at Luo Mingheo. Watch out. That's the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow's innate divine ability, the life-devouring light ray. The leader of this group from the ancient family alliance couldn't help being shocked. He had a certain understanding of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow, and it was precisely because of that understanding that he was so shocked. This life-devouring light ray was a shocking divine ability that allowed the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow to unleash its devouring abilities even outside its stomach. It had to be known that the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow's strongest point was their devouring power, and this life-devouring light ray was formed by condensing the devouring energy in their stomachs into a ray of light. It was a terrifying attack. Legend was that only 10th rank cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrows were capable of unleashing this move, but the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow in front of them was only at the 9th rank. The black light was incredibly fast. This terrifying attack hadn't taken cloud any time to cast. This was the terror of a magical beast. It arrived in front of Luo Mingheo in an instant, and he didn't even have time to use his earthen pot. All he could do was condense heavenly Tao energy into layers of shields before him. Eighteen layers instantly appeared, which could be called a terrifying defense. But what shocked everyone was that these layers of defenses were unable to bear a single attack from the black light, and were easily pierced. Finally, the black light pierced Luo Mingheo's shoulder. His entire arm vanished along with his shoulder, and he coughed up a mouthful of blood. Shocked. Only now did he realize that his heavenly Tao energy was unable to suppress that strange black light. Its bizarre energy had instantly consumed his flesh. And most shocking of all, his heavenly Tao energy was unable to heal his injury. Some kind of energy was crazily absorbing his life energy. All his heavenly Tao energy could do was suppress that devouring energy. But it couldn't heal him. Just at this moment, one of Cloud's wings slashed toward him like a huge heavenly blade. Bastard, this time doesn't count. Just wait. The heavily injured Luo Mingheo was no longer able to use that strange movement Artie used before. With a furious roar, he crushed a talisman and vanished. A void-breaking talisman. Everyone's expression changed. 
to be able to teleport a person from within the Zhuangshan Dao sect's grand formation. Probably only a void breaking talisman was capable of doing so. It was unexpected that Luo Minghao had such a precious treasure. That void breaking talisman was incredibly precious. Even the Hall Masters of the Zhuangshan Dao sect had only ever heard of such things. As expected, it's just as the Eastern Wasteland Bell said. Peak heavenly geniuses aren't so easy to kill. Ordinary experts aren't able to affect their golden fate lines. And even if they can take the advantage, they still won't be able to kill them. This is the karmic luck of peak heavenly geniuses. Long Chen sighed inside. Meng Chi had definitely managed to obtain an absolute advantage over Luo Minghao, but she wasn't able to kill him in the end. That was because of his karmic luck. In truth, Long Chen was very clear on the fact that the reason Meng Chi was able to suppress him so heavily was because that idiot had been too careless. After messing up at the start, he had never managed to turn things around. As a rank 9 celestial, he had to have many trump cards. Regretfully, he hadn't even had a chance to use them before being defeated and fleeing miserably. If they were comparing their true abilities, even Meng Chi with Cloud wouldn't necessarily be able to defeat him. Right now, everyone stared in shock at that fairy-like figure standing atop the cloud chasing heaven swallowing Sparrow's head. They had all thought that the strongest expert of the Zhuangshan Dao sect's junior generation would be Long Chen. But it was a frail-looking woman that had defeated Luo Minghao in just a few breaths' time. She had even almost killed him. If anyone from the ancient families wants to challenge me, you can come. Meng Chi looked at the disciples brought by the ancient family alliance. Those disciples had all mocked and looked down on Long Chen. Even Meng Chi was infuriated. These disciples had truly mocked Long Chen, but that mostly stemmed from their envy. However, now that Meng Chi had displayed such terrifying power, how could they possibly dare to say a word? Goodbye. The ancient family alliance group's leader snorted and cupped his fist slightly before leaving with a gloomy expression. It was unknown whether he was saying goodbye to the ancient races, Pill Valley, or the Zhuangshan Dao sect clearly. The ancient family alliance had only come to watch the fun, but as a result, they were forced to leave dejectedly. They were infuriated. The ancient races won't let this matter end as is. All of you just wait. The ancient races also left, but not without saying some vicious words. Once the ancient family alliance and ancient races experts had left, Pill Valley's law enforcer, Zhuo Xiangxiang, waved his sleeve and led those righteous experts away. The only ones left were the people from the Martial Heaven Alliance. Dang Kang's expression was exceedingly ugly, and he was extremely uneasy. If you had known this would happen, would you have still acted that way? The bitter wine you brew will have to be swallowed by yourself sooner or later. I won't be sending you off. Seeing that Dang Kang seemed to still want to say something, Long Chen directly expelled him. He knew that shameless people had faces thicker than city walls. He would say that this was all a misunderstanding, and that there was still room for discussion. Long Chen couldn't be bothered to waste that time. Dang Kang glared at Long Chen, but in the end, he led his people away. Looking at their departing figures, Long Chen's gaze was ice cold. Li Xiangxuan smiled and said, What? Did you not manage to vent your anger? Long Chen shook his head. Some people are fated to be enemies and these people should be exterminated as early as possible. Otherwise, they'll cause a disaster sooner or later. There are also some people who curry favor and are no threat on their own, but then they will be used by others to become painful blades. As for whether or not they will become those blades, it depends on whether we can eliminate our enemies first and intimidate them. In truth, sometimes the power of these people who sway whichever way the wind blows is even more frightening than our actual enemies the most hateful thing about these opportunists was that you wouldn't know when they would stab you in the back and before they did stab you you wouldn't be able to touch them when did it become so complicated just attack whoever you find displeasing why make it so troublesome boss bao turned his nose up at long chen's words this part of Long Chen's character didn't fit in with them. Old two, come, let's go drink some wine. Long Chen, you three can come. Boss Bao couldn't waste his time on such troublesome things. He directly pulled Tu Kian Chang away to find a place to drink. Everyone, 
Now that you've come to my Zhuangshan Dao sect, although I can't offer you any fine wine, I can give you a good place to drink. Li Xiangxuan waved his hand, and an ancient mirror appeared in the sky. It was the Zhuangshan Dao sect's reincarnation mirror. Within the mirror, you will be able to see all the scenery of the Zhuangshan Dao sect. It's the best place to drink wine and discuss the Dao. Ha ha ha. Good. Let's go. Boss Bao laughed. Drinking up in the air was definitely appealing. Eh? Xuan Master. Sect Leader. Old Man Yu. Why aren't you coming as well? Long Chen suddenly noticed Li Xiangxuan, Ling Yunzi, and Yu Qingxian hadn't moved. They had no intention of going with them. We don't really drink wine. I happen to have some good tea here. So we'll drink the tea. You can drink the wine. Li Xiangxuan smiled faintly. Boss Bao didn't force them. Pulling to Kai and Shang, Long Chen, and the others, he flew directly into the reincarnation mirror in the air. Long Chen didn't know that when they entered the reincarnation mirror, Li Xiangxuan shook his head and sighed. I wonder if they can even last an incense stick's worth of time. Chapter 1323 Nourishing the Soul Translator Born to be Long Chen, Bao Buping, and Chang Hao all vomited blood as they fell from the sky. Those shameless old bastards. They forgot about us after just drinking a bit of cat piss, roared Bao Buping. Long Chen, Bao Buping, and Chang Hao just happened to see an ancient pavilion on a mountain peak as they fell to the ground. Inside, Li Xiangxuan, Ling Yunzi, and Yu Qingxian were drinking wine, while Zheng Wenlong attended to them. As expected, it wasn't even an incense stick's worth of time. Li Xiangxuan smiled upon seeing Long Chen's group of three, Brother Long. What happened? Zheng Wenlong couldn't help but ask upon seeing their wretched appearances. Don't even ask. Those shameless bastards. After drinking a few bowls of cat piss, they started fighting, said Long Chen gloomily. When Tu Kai and Shang, Boss Bao, and the others had entered the reincarnation mirror, they had all been in a good mood. From within the reincarnation mirror, they could see all the scenery in 10,000 miles. It was definitely beautiful. Tu Kai and Chang had also sincerely treated the bosses to his wine. Each one of them had drunk over 10 bowls right at the start, and as a result, the bosses who were not used to Tu Kai and Chang's wine instantly began to overflow with battle intent. Without a word, they suddenly began to fight. They had completely forgotten about Long Chen, Bao Buping, and Chang Hao. Due to the intense stimulation of Tu Kai and Chang's wine, the bosses started a fierce, chaotic battle and their terrifying auras had sent the three of them flying. It was no wonder Bao Buping would curse them. Boss Bao had clearly said that he would bring them to drink wine, but before they had drunk much at all, they ended up vomiting blood. Long Chen supposed he could understand this. With the intense stimulation of that wine, it would have been strange if they didn't start fighting. But the main thing was that they had forgotten about the three of them. If they hadn't run fast enough, they might have been killed. The Xuan Master truly has foresight. Disciple is filled with admiration Long Chen bitterly smiled. Clearly, Li Xiangxuan had long since known this would happen. Otherwise, as the host, there was no way he wouldn't go accompany them. That was lacking manners. But now it was clear just how wise his choice had been. He also realized why Li Xiangxuan would use a divine item as a place for them to drink. Yes, it provided beautiful scenery but it also prevented them from damaging the buildings of the sect within the reincarnation mirror. They could fight as they pleased. It was two birds with one stone. Long Chen, you've come at the right time. I have to leave, so I can say goodbye now, said Ling Yunzi, sect leader. Why do you have to go so soon? Why not stay for a few days? Long Chen was startled. One reason I came was for you, but another is for Zifeng. That child is a rarely seen genius of the sword Dao. With his soul sealed in his sword, it's actually a huge opportunity for him. This is when he can sense the true essence of the sword Dao. I came to bring him back to the heavenly sword gate. Within the heavenly sword gate, there are many opportunities for sword cultivators. So I'll bring him to test his luck only then did Long Chen understand. He gave Ling Yunzi a stone coffin containing Yu Zifeng's body. Ling Yunzi looked at Yu Zifeng and nodded. He said goodbye to Li Xiangxuan and Yu Qingxian, and left with Yu Zifeng. Yu Qingxian also said, I have some urgent matters to attend to. 
so I won't disturb you any longer. If the Zhuangshan Dao sect needs anything in the future, you just have to send a message to Wenlong. Despite how Li Xiangxuan tried to get him to stay longer, Yu Qinchen still left. However, he left behind Zheng Wenlong. Zheng Wenlong was a disciple he viewed extremely highly, and he left everything here to him to handle. Boss Bao and the others stayed in the reincarnation mirror for a full week. Each day, they drank and fought delightedly. On the other hand, Long Chen brought Bao Buping, Chang Hao, and Zheng Wenlong to Crouching Dragon Mountain to celebrate. Although they weren't members of the Dragon Blood Legion, they were people Long Chen trusted greatly. They spent all day drinking and eating, also passing these days happily. This time, the Zhuangshan Dao sect's show of power had gone perfectly with Long Chen at the helm. They had slapped their opponents' faces. At least for a short time, there wouldn't be anyone who dared to do anything to the Zhuangshan Dao sect it gave them precious time to breathe. After the week, Boss Bao found Long Chen and transmitted the fifth form of Split the Heavens to him. Bao Buping had brought out the Heaven Splitting Divine Tablets guidance from Devil Spirit Mountain. Their originally deviated version of Split the Heavens had been corrected. In the future, they would be able to use Split the Heavens with even greater power. Boss Bao had Long Chen change a few mistakes in his technique. Regretfully, Long Chen couldn't use his spiritual Yuan, so he could only forcibly remember this but he had no way of practicing. As for Boss Bao, he actually couldn't display it to him, because he had cultivated in the old form of Split the Heavens for too long. The way that he used it had been set in stone, and fixing it would be a thousand times more difficult for him. That was why Long Chen, Bao Buping, and Chang Hao would be able to correct the mistakes in their Split the Heavens much faster. After that, Boss Bao and the other bosses brought away Bao Buping and Chang Hao. Tu Kian Chang left Long Chen a few jugs of his fierce wine. He told him that he had originally brought much more, but the bosses had drunk the rest. After Tu Kian Chang left, Zheng Wenlong discussed a few things about their future strategy with Long Chen before also leaving. The Zhuangshan Dao sect returned to its previous calm. After just a few days, people from the Martial Heaven Alliance came. However, they did not include Dan Kang. It was a completely different group who came to alert the Zhuangshan Dao sect that they could take out their reward now. Other than that, they brought some news about Dan Kang. Due to his abuse of power, he had gravely harmed the righteous image of the Martial Heaven Alliance, and was currently imprisoned in one of the Alliance's underground prisons. Assuming nothing unexpected happened, he would probably be imprisoned there until he died. Long Chen didn't find this result unexpected at all. The Martial Heaven Alliance had been forced by public opinion to do something so harsh. Even if it was just for others to see, they still had to do it. Li Xiangxuan politely received them in a very magnanimous way. He even asked for leniency for Dan Kang, saying that he hadn't had any bad intentions and had only been deceived by others. In truth, this was nothing more than a formality. The matter was already closed, unless all the righteous powers were gathered. There was no way to change his imprisonment. But by saying this, Li Xiangxuan gave the Martial Heaven Alliance a way to keep their face, allowing those people to relax. The main reason they had come was to ease any untoward feelings. Li Xiangxuan's cooperation delighted them. After all, they were just errand boys. If this went badly, they would be hard pressed. So they were grateful to Li Xiangxuan. After confirming what rewards Li Xiangxuan wanted, they returned in just three days with everything. They were simply helping each other out. Li Xiangxuan didn't make things hard on them, and so to express their gratitude, the long procedure which should have taken several months was done in just three days, and they had even personally come to bring the rewards to their door. They had killed a huge number of corrupt experts in Devil Spirit Mountain, and their reward was also huge. It was practically enough to rebuild the entire Zhuangshan Dao sect that was why Dan Kang had been so greedy for it. These people had chatted with the others who had previously come to mediate things, and one of them secretly told Li Xiangxuan that it was Dan Kang who had taken the initiative to speak to Pill Valley. His goal had been to devour this reward. Once he sent this reward to Pill Valley, Pill Valley would split it with him. This reward was enough to make countless sects greedy. But Li Xiangxuan decided to take a huge pile of cultivation resources as the reward. 
he was planning on using this entire reward on strengthening their current generation of disciples. Previously, they hadn't had the money to raise their disciples. In truth, the so-called geniuses were made through piling resources. No matter how talented a disciple was, without any resources as support, their talent would be wasted. Whether it was the cultivation environment, the support of formations, trials, weapons, pills, and medicines, they all needed money. Right now, the reason the Dragonblood Legion was so strong didn't even have much to do with the Zhuanshan Dao sect they had grown by relying on Long Chen's efforts. As for that huge battle, if it hadn't been for the Dragonblood Legion, the Zhuanshan Dao sect wouldn't have been able to devour such a huge piece of meat. They would have been forced to share it with others, and perhaps at that time, their share of meat might even be snatched away. Now Li Xiangxuan had used the Dragonblood Legion to earn such a huge amount of wealth, and he naturally wouldn't use that wealth to expand the sect he'd use it all to raise them. The huge amount of wealth that poured into the Zhuanshan Dao sect was immediately used to strengthen the cultivation regions. Everything was rebuilt according to the highest standards. The Dragonblood Legion's disciples were allowed to cultivate in these places freely. As for the other disciples, their rations were increased by hundreds of times. The atmosphere of the Zhuanshan Dao sect completely transformed. It was like a beggar had become a rich person decked in wealth. That kind of feeling made countless disciples smile even in their dreams. Long Chen spent these few days relaxing. He accompanied Men Qi and Tang Wan'er around the Zhuanshan Dao sect. Long Chen, give me Little Snow's crystal core. Recently, I've learned a strange art. I can use the Myriad Spirit Diagram to nourish Little Snow's soul. Give me the crystal core, and I'll place it within the Myriad Spirit Diagram. Only once Little Snow's soul is strong enough can he take over a powerful creature's body and be reborn, said Meng Chi. Are you sure? Long Chen was delighted to hear this. Little Snow had always been a knot in his heart. Now if they could perhaps find a ninth rank or tenth rank magical beast, then with Meng Qi's help, it really might not be a problem for Little Snow to be reborn. But Long Chen didn't know where his limit was. He didn't want Little Snow to be reborn and then very quickly be unable to keep up with him. He'd rather not suffer that kind of pain again. He wanted Little Snow to keep up with him forever. He had never found a suitable target. Furthermore, he had also been growing increasingly worried about how Little Snow's soul was supposed to take over a powerful creature's body. The Myriad Spirit Diagram is extremely miraculous. Although I'm still learning about it. Nourishing Little Snow's soul is no problem. Meng Chi smiled and placed Little Snow's crystal core into the Myriad Spirit Diagram. Chapter 1324 Target Pill Valley Translator Born to be according to Meng Chi, Little Snow's soul would be gently nourished by all the spirit beast diagrams of the Myriad Spirit Diagram. It had to be known that each image of the Myriad Spirit Diagram contained the inheritance of an ancient beast, and there were endless profundities within. According to Cloud, within the specific image of the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow, there was an extremely large space where it could comprehend its ancestors' inheritance. While the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow was also an ancient beast race, and its divine abilities were inherited through its bloodline, its current bloodline had grown sparse. By Cloud's generation, many of their inherited divine abilities had been lost. But the Myriad Spirit Diagram contained their complete inheritance. Even if Cloud could only comprehend a portion of them, its power had still soared to the point where it could fight with a rank 9 celestial. Little Snow's crystal core contained its essence. It was the eastern wasteland bell that had gathered Little Snow's soul into it. Little Snow was now in a state similar to a fetus, which made it the best time to nourish his soul. This kind of unconscious nourishing had no bad side effects. Furthermore, Meng Chi said that as her power increased, she would be able to unlock more secrets of the Myriad Spirit Diagram. When the time came, Little Snow's soul might grow to an unimaginable point through the Myriad Spirit Diagram's nourishing. Meng Chi understood Long Chen the best. Little Snow's matter had been a sore point for him. Now with the Myriad Spirit Diagram, at the very least, she could soften that pain. Long Chen, when are you planning on leaving? At the top of a mountain, 
Tang Wan'er helped Long Chen tidy his collar just like a warm wife looking at her husband who was about to leave for a long time. She was unwilling to part with him. Long Chen looked at Meng Chi and Tang Wan'er. His heart ached. After only just gathering for such a short time, he had to go again. The Underworld Soul Ghost Curse was too powerful. The first volume of the Nirvana scripture was only able to suppress, but not expel it. He needed to take a trip to Pill Valley. Right now, the Zhuangshan Dao sect had entered a temporary time where they could grow without any enemies attacking them. It was the best time for them to raise their strength. If Long Chen couldn't expel the Underworld Soul Ghost Curse, his cultivation base wouldn't be able to grow. The Dragonblood Legion was rapidly growing, but he hadn't advanced an inch. How could this be acceptable? That was why he needed to take advantage of this precious time to obtain the second volume of the Nirvana scripture. Otherwise, he wouldn't be able to face the future. He had actually wanted to leave a few days ago, but he hadn't been willing to part with Meng Chi and Tang Wan'er. But not leaving was also not an option. This peace was just temporary. He knew that whether it was the ancient races, Pill Valley, or the corrupt path, they weren't going to leave things as they were. When they attacked next time, it would probably be a thunderous blow. He had to raise his power as much as possible before that happened. Furthermore, the Zhuangshan Dao sect was only a power in the eastern Xuan region. The central plains were too huge, and there were still many unknown powers he might have to face. Chu Yao and Yi's Hikyu also weren't in this region. There had never been a chance to see them. Chu Yao was someone he worried about especially. For him, someone as kind-hearted as her had stepped into the vortex that was the cultivation world without hesitation. Back when they had first left Phoenix Cry, she had left her familiar home, her little brother that she cared about, everything. It had all been for Long Chen. Now they had been apart for years, and he only missed her more. He couldn't keep waiting. He had to increase his power as he wanted to see them again as soon as possible. Therefore, he had to control himself and couldn't hesitate any longer. Long Chen, no matter what you do, we will always support you. In truth, you've already done very well. No one could do better than you. So don't blame yourself. Meng Chi gently rubbed Long Chen's cheek. Both Meng Chi and Tang Wan'er, and even the entire Dragonblood Legion, were aware that right now, Long Chen was carrying too many things on his back. He had his own bitterness in his heart, but he didn't bring that up. On his own, he carried the entire Dragonblood Legion. They all saw how tiring that must be for him. He was the pillar of the Dragonblood Legion, the soul. Behind his many layers of defenses, there was a soft heart that needed to be cared for and protected. But they were only able to offer him very little. Long Chen felt ashamed of himself when it came to Meng Chi and Tang Wan'er. While they felt ashamed of themselves, they felt themselves to be useless and unable to help him. What they needed to do right now was let Long Chen do what he had to do in peace. They had to encourage and comfort him. The three of them hugged tightly like chicks shivering in the middle of a storm. They nestled up against each other, sharing and taking each other's warmth. Only that could bring them some comfort. In truth. The undercurrents of the cultivation world were bloody and violent. The cultivation world was far crueler, far more merciless than a storm. Long Chen gave everyone a general outline of their future cultivation. He also gave all the medicinal wine they would need to Meng Chi. It could allow the entire Dragonblood Legion to cultivate quickly without their foundations growing unsteady. In truth, Li Xiangxuan had already arranged for everything in the resources department. They were all the best possible resources, but this medicinal wine could allow them to cultivate twice as fast with half the effort. At the very least, in the Jade Core Realm, the entire Dragonblood Legion would be receiving the treatment a rank 9 celestial wood. These resources that could have lasted tens of thousands of years were all used in this one realm. It could be seen how Li Xiangxuan placed everyone in the Dragonblood Legion. As for when the Dragonblood Legion advanced to the Soul Transformation Realm and above, that was the future. They would have to take things step by step. That very night, Long Chen gathered with the Dragonblood Legion, Hua Xiaoyu, Zhao Ziyan, Mu Qingxuan, Wang Zhen, Su Mo, and the other people he trusted for a big celebration. Once everyone had collapsed, taking advantage of the darkness of the night, Long Chen stealthily slipped off the mountain. 
Menchi and Tang Wan'er stood at the gates of the Zhuangshan Dao sect, watching as that familiar figure slowly faded. Their tears slowly dripped down their faces. Big sister, why do we have to cultivate? Why can't we live as we please? I don't want to be apart from him so much. Tang Wan'er held Menchi tightly. Menchi wiped off her tears and patted Tang Wan'er on the back. She softly said, Long Chen is carrying too many things on his shoulders. He doesn't want to part with us either, but he carries more responsibility. He's doing this so that one day, we can all be together without any worries. His current effort is for us, so we also have to work hard on cultivating. We can't hold him back. We have to be his arms so we can help him. Yes, you're right. I'm going to work hard. I'll help Long Chen. Tang Wan'er nodded, a determined expression flashing on her face. Long Chen stealthily slipped off the mountain in the night. One reason was for safety. The Zhuangshan Dao sect would tell its people that Long Chen was currently sealed within the Zhuangshan Tower, and the Zhuangshan Tower was using its power to suppress the underworld soul ghost curse. No one could disturb him. The other reason was because he had been afraid of seeing Menchi and Tang Wan'er when he was leaving. He didn't know that they had only been faking that they were drunk and had secretly watched him leave. After leaving the Zhuangshan Dao sect, he found a secluded place and took out a mirror. Using some medicinal elixir, he changed his appearance and stared at his reflection. He, Master Long San is back. Long Chen smiled mischievously. This appearance was the same face he had used in the Eastern Wastelands Pill Tower. But this time, he made his face appear more mature. After all, three years had passed. Right now, the face-changing elixir he had used was of an even higher level. Even Life Star experts wouldn't be able to see through his disguise. In fact, Long Chen had even disguised his eyes, dampening the sharpness that a martial artist would possess. Changing his robes, he checked over himself and didn't see any flaws. He continued on his way. The Eastern Xuan capital. It was the most ancient city in the Eastern Xuan region whose history stretched too far back for anyone to calculate. In the Dark Era, it had received a destructive blow and had almost been completely destroyed. After the Dark Era, the Eastern Xuan capital had been reconstructed in accordance with its old style. Although the buildings were no longer the original buildings, it still possessed an ancient air. All the various large sects had branches within the Eastern Xuan capital. This was a good place for them to engage in business and for them to stay in contact. The Pill Tower and Huai Insect strongholds were also present. As the largest city in the Eastern Xuan region, it had a very high population, and countless experts were always coming and going. In this region, ancient race experts were often parading themselves ostentatiously. Are you blind? Long Chen was just in the midst of aimlessly strolling when someone in front of him almost crashed into him. He hastily dodged, but as a result, that person disdainfully cursed him. Pow! That ancient race expert had barely finished speaking when a large hand slapped across his face. With an explosive sound, half his face caved in, and he flew into the distance. Countless people let out startled cries and hastily dodged. When he finally stabilized himself, he roared furiously and turned to get his revenge on Long Chen only to find that he had vanished as if he had never existed. Human race bastard, if you have gods, get the hell out here, he roared. But after he said this, he noticed countless experts glaring at him. It had to be known that basically all these people were from the human race. Cursing like this was equivalent to cursing them all. Furthermore, there was even a distant life star expert present. That ancient race expert immediately left dejectedly. In a small alley. Long Chen watched as that idiot left. He looked at his own hand and shook his head. Ah, this reflex is bad. I didn't even want to slap him before I slapped him. No, I must change this, or I'll be exposed tidying up his robes. Long Chen entered a nearby restaurant and ate a bit. After asking around for the pill tower's position, he paid his bill and went straight to the pill tower. Chapter 1325 An unfavorable start of the apprenticeship translator. Born to be the pill tower was located in the southern part of the eastern Xuan capital. As for the Huai insects branch sect, it was located in the northern part of the city. The two of them were about as far from each other as possible. When Long Chen arrived at the pill tower, he was stunned by its grandeur. 
They really had too much money. The tower stretched into the clouds, and it was too high to even see its top. It was made of rainbow gold that was incredibly dazzling under the sunlight. There were 108 high towers in the surroundings of the main pill tower, like stars around the moon. It was a powerful visual effect. TCH. A bunch of counterfeit medicine sellers actually make this much money. How completely unprincipled. Cursed Long Chen as he looked at the soaring main tower. They really were rich. Long Chen estimated that just the cost of the materials spent on the main tower was greater than 10 Zhuangshan Dao sects. He had investigated Pill Valley's medicinal pills and the pills that circulated on the market. Their quality was not bad but the medicinal pills that Pill Valley enjoyed a monopoly of had basically all been modified to reduce their medicinal effect. It was clear that Pill Valley had intentionally decreased their effect to make more money from the people. It was no wonder Pill Valley was so powerful. This kind of wealth was truly enough to suffocate countless other sects. Hey, little fellow, what are you doing looking so shifty-eyed? Long Chen was at the entrance to the pill tower and appraising its splendor when a cold shout rang out. Several of the pill tower's disciples were guarding this entrance, and they found Long Chen displeasing to the eye. Naturally, men would hope to be more handsome than others. While Long Chen's face had been changed to no longer be so handsome, it was definitely not ugly. His tall figure was also attractive. However, his robes were broken down and there wasn't the slightest grandness around him. He didn't look much better than a beggar. If his aura didn't show that he was a foundation-forging disciple, these disciples would have probably kicked him away already. Haha, <laughs> brothers, please forgive me. I'm actually one of Pill Valley's disciples and came from the Eastern Wasteland. I encountered a crisis in the Martial Heaven Sea Ring and almost died. So I only managed to get here now, said Long Chen. Pill Valley's disciple, those disciples' expressions immediately changed. They were just disciples of the Pill Tower. It was unexpected that this poor-looking fellow would actually say he was from Pill Valley. They couldn't quite believe it. Everyone, please don't mind my broken robes. I still have a few snacks in my pocket, so I'll trouble you to report that the Eastern Wastelands Pill Tower's competition's champion, Long San, has arrived and is asking for help. I hope you won't laugh at me for this little gift. Long Chen handed over several small bottles. Each of them was filled with liquid. High-grade soul-nourishing elixir. Those disciples were startled. They had definitely been suspecting this fellow of being a swindler. But seeing this soul-nourishing elixir, they immediately felt more trust toward him. They had Xi'anshan realm cultivation basis. This high-grade soul-nourishing elixir was extremely precious to them and what they needed most at this moment. Seeing that this poor fellow was actually able to take out this much, their opinion of him immediately rose several levels. They immediately put away the soul-nourishing elixir. Seeing their experienced movements, Long Chen knew that they were experts in doing that. They probably accepted quite a few bribes like this normally. Yes, just wait here. I will go alert the higher-ups. Money could make even ghosts work. Very quickly. A middle-aged man was brought over. You say you are from the Eastern Wastelands Pill Tower? Do you have any proof? The middle-aged man frowned upon seeing Long Chen. He clearly found Long Chen's appearance to be a bit hard to accept. How could a Pill Tower's disciple end up looking so destitute? This is the identity badge I obtained for taking first at the competition. Long Chen handed over a golden badge to the middle-aged man. That was what he had obtained in the Pill Tower and it was a token of Pill Valley. Come with me. That middle-aged man's expression softened slightly upon seeing it. Long Chen followed him into a courtyard. After two long corridors, they arrived at the main tower. When he entered the main tower, he saw that the inside was even greater than what it appeared to be. There had to be a spatial formation present. Inside the tower was actually a lake, and there was a beautiful island at the center. This scene was like one out of a painting. They had only just stepped onto the green island when they saw a group of people standing there. The middle-aged man beckoned to Long Chen to not move. Protectors Huo, the Zhuangshan Dao sect is acting carefully, and Li Xiangxuan hasn't given us any opportunity. We won't be able to do anything to the Zhuangshan Dao sect temporarily. A voice rang out. Protectors Huo? Long Chen acted like he was just curious and tilted his head over. 
he saw over ten people up ahead speaking in a small pavilion at the core of the island. What surprised Long Chen was that it was Suo Shiang Xiang and the other people he had brought from Pill Valley. Do you not want your life? Lower your head. Long Chen had only just taken a glance when the middle-aged man hastily gave him a spiritual message. Long Chen acted panicked and lowered his head. He couldn't understand. It had already been weeks since that matter. What were these people still doing here? Let them be arrogant for now. Have you done everything I told you to do? Asked Suo Xiang. Everything's arranged. All the sects who helped us received a discount on the medicinal pills they want to buy. As for the sects whose life star experts died, we've given them their compensation. It's just that. It's just that you think this compensation is a bit painful, said Suo Xiang Xiang lightly. Yes. Is there a need to compensate them so much? HMPH. During exceptional times, we have to use exceptional methods. After being caught unprepared by Li Xiang Xuan, we have to win those people over. Otherwise, wouldn't their hearts turn cold? Snorted Suo Xiang Xiang. As expected, protector Suo is farsighted. Disciple cannot compare. Long Chen rolled his eyes. How shameless. Had this person done this just to suck up to Suo Xiang Xiang? There are still many things you need to learn. Since Dan Chen has died and the higher ups don't have a suitable replacement yet, you can be the temporary tower master here. Whether or not you can keep this position will be up to your own skill. Zhuo Xiang Xiang also looked down on this person's bootlicking. He really didn't have any skill in this regard. Many thanks. That person hastily bowed in thanks. Zhuo Xiang Xiang waved his hand. Report on things happening in the other areas. The ancient races and ancient family alliance have decided to temporarily not do anything to the Zhuanshan Dao sect most likely. They are afraid of them now. As for the blood kill hall, I sent people to communicate with them. But their reply was vague. All they said was that their target is Long Chen. I can't tell their attitude HMPH. Those shameful fellows are just like prostitutes wanting memorial arches erected for them. They actually care about some stupid rule of only assassinating people in the same realm. There's no need to bother with those idiots. What about the corrupt path? Snorted Suo Xiang Xiang. The corrupt path is infuriated by their defeat. But the strange thing is that they aren't preparing any large movements. I can't see through what they're intending. Zhuo Xiang Xiang was silent for a moment. There's nothing strange about it. I heard the corrupt path has given birth to countless demon class geniuses in the past few years. Each one of them is shockingly powerful. That female called Len Yuan especially. She's a demon amongst demons. Perhaps in the corrupt path's eyes. Long Chen isn't a big threat any longer. As for the Martial Heaven Alliance's side, they sent news. Now the timing's awkward. In the future, there's no need for you to say it. Have them lie low. And once this gust dies down, we'll continue where we left off. Have you been able to find Xuan Jizi? Asks Huo Xiang Xiang. That fellow is being targeted by everyone. And so we couldn't find where he's hiding. That fellow has harmed too many people. And after the Zhuanshan Dao sect exposed their proof. Countless other experts appeared and exposed even more of his wicked deeds. No one dares to form a relationship with him for fear of being implicated. If you can contact him in secret, it would be good. After all, he was once a disciple of Heavenly Fate Island. His ability to see through fate is very powerful, and we need such a helper. Furthermore, I'm sure he hates the Zhuanshan Dao sect as well. Working together with us is his only option. But remember, it must be kept secret, said Suo Xiang Xiang. Yes, all right, since everything's arranged, I have to return to Pill Valley to give my report. Zhuo Xiang Xiang had a conflicted expression. This report wasn't so easy to give as Pill Valley had been slapped viciously by Long Chen. The reason Zhuo Xiang Xiang hadn't left even after all this time was because he was cleaning up his mess doing his best to deal with the aftermath and reducing the damage as much as possible. That way, he would have more confidence when he returned to Pill Valley. After all, it wasn't his fault that this matter had been ruined, but that he was simply unlucky. No one else would have been able to do better than him. Congratulations protector. Eh? Bastard. Weishan, who said you could come in? Only at this moment did someone notice Long Chen and the middle-aged man. 
Zhuo Xiang Xiang and the others' expressions sank. They had been in the midst of discussing such a secret matter, but someone had been eavesdropping. Killing intent instantly filled the air. Long Chen's face turned green. What kind of heaven-defying luck was this? Was he about to be killed to keep things quiet? How could he possibly be that unlucky? Chapter 1326 Danger Upon Danger Translator Born to be Who Are You? The new tower master who hadn't even been officially appointed already began to act with the grand prestige of a tower master. He harshly shouted at Long Chen, reporting to tower master, this person is, the middle-aged man who had brought Long Chen in was covered in sweat. He was one of the higher-ups of this pill tower, that was why he had the authority to bring Long Chen here, but he hadn't expected them to be discussing secret matters in a meeting that was supposed to have been over a long time ago. By the time he reacted, it was already too late. He couldn't interrupt them, and he couldn't leave. He could only quietly stand in the distance without moving. Facing the interrogation of the new tower master, he hastily reported everything he knew about Long Chen, even offering up his identity badge. Hearing that he was the champion of the Eastern Wastelands Pill Tower competition, they were all dumbfounded. Zhuo Xiang Xiang carefully examined and confirmed that the badge was from Pill Valley. No one could fake such a thing. His ugly expression faded slightly. According to Pill Valley's agreement, you had to come to Pill Valley within three years after obtaining this badge. You've already missed that time frame. What kind of sacred place do you think Pill Valley is? How dare you come late? The new tower master shook his head at Long Chen disappointedly. What kind of place was Pill Valley? Even the most talented alchemy geniuses of the Central Plains wouldn't necessarily have the qualifications to join. The Eastern Wasteland was a desolate village in comparison. Pill Valley only gathered disciples from there once every hundred years. In truth, that was just to play their part. Pill Valley didn't really care about them. The Central Plains Pill Towers had similar competitions every ten years, while the Eastern Wasteland only had such a thing once every hundred years. Just from that, it could be seen how great the difference was between the levels of the Eastern Wasteland and the Central Plains. The Eastern Wasteland's competition was nothing more than a formality for Pill Valley. Those who could obtain such qualifications in the Eastern Wasteland were all simply lucky. Considering their circumstances in the Eastern Wasteland, the disciples brought over to the Central Plains would be far from outstanding. So for them to enter Pill Valley was a huge fortune but Long Chen had actually come late, wasting his fortune. Most unfortunate of all, this badge had his name and handprints on it. Others couldn't even use the badge in his stead. That was why even the new tower master felt regret. But there was no way around it. I had something to do and couldn't leave with the tower ancestor at that time. When I crossed the martial heaven sea ring on my own, I was trapped by sea demons, and my flying boat was destroyed. I had to fly all the way here on my own. That's why it took so long. But as soon as I arrived in the Central Plains, I rushed on over here. Long Chen shrugged helplessly. You flew over. Everyone's expressions changed. Seeing Long Chen's wind-worn appearance and his clothes that looked like they were about to fall apart, they immediately understood. You flew for three years and weren't eaten by sea demons? I suppose you could count yourself lucky. Bring out your pill flame for me to see said Zhuo Xiang Xiang. A flame rose in Long Chen's hand. Many different fluctuations came from it. A. A beast flame. Those experts were all speechless. The new tower master roared. Are you playing with us? This trash merged beast flame is something even my pill tower's disciples would look down on. But, I used this merged flame to take first place at the competition. If you don't believe me, you can check the Eastern Wasteland's pill tower's records said Long Chen aggrieved. He naturally couldn't expose his earth flame. The soul-devouring violet flame's ranking was too high, and he had used it when fighting Gui Yan. Furthermore, he had truly used this merged flame in the eastern wasteland. Even if they checked, he wouldn't have to worry. Zhuo Xiang Xiang and the others shook their heads. The eastern wasteland had actually declined to the extent that this trash flame had actually taken first place. I don't have time to bother with this matter. You're late. So you've already lost your qualifications to enter Pill Valley. If you had any outstanding areas, 
Perhaps protectors Huo might be able to make an exception for you and bring you in. But you, the new tower master shook his head. This little fellow should stay behind at your pill tower. Properly look after him. After saying this, Zhuo Xiangxiang turned to leave. Hearing those last four words to properly look after him, Long Chen knew that this bastard was definitely telling the tower master to make him secretly disappear. Senior, I experienced countless dangers to come from the eastern wasteland through the martial heaven sea ring. Please, just give me a chance, shouted Long Chen. But Zhuo Xiangxiang ignored him. He began to walk away, not wanting to waste time on Long Chen. Long Chen cursed and clenched his teeth. How was he so unlucky that everything always went awry? He suddenly extended his hands, and ten threads of flame shot out of his fingers, forming a flame net in the air. This flame net caused Zhuo Xiangxiang to pause. The powerful soul energy and control Long Chen displayed had moved him. To control ten threads of flame and have them interweave in the air was a dazzling sight. The ten threads interwove but never clashed. They all maintained a set distance from each other. Your control's not bad, but your spiritual strength is only above average. Zhuo Xiangxiang shook his head, once more preparing to leave. Long Chen cursed Zhuo Xiangxiang. He had an urge to slap him. Boom. Heaven and earth shook as flame runes suddenly appeared behind Long Chen. Sacred chanting filled the air. In that instant, everyone's expressions changed. They looked at Long Chen, filled with disbelief. Is this trump card of mine enough to win me the qualification to enter Pill Valley? Long Chen had summoned the Nirvana scripture. You're Long Chen. You bastard. You dare to play with me. Zhuo Xiangxiang's expression suddenly twisted, and he grabbed Long Chen, looking like he wanted to bite him to death. Long Chen's expression was one of complete panic. I'm not Long Chen. I'm Long San. You have the wrong person. Ha ha ha. How brazen. You actually dare to act stupid in front of me. Whether or not your Long Chen will be clear after a soul sark. Zhuo Xiangxiang smiled sinisterly. It was no wonder he had felt that this little fellow was familiar. And that feeling had filled him with loathing. With his status. He was more than capable of bringing Long Chen into Pill Valley. It wasn't some major thing. The main thing was that he disliked this brat. Now that Long Chen had summoned the Nirvana scripture, the first thing Zhuo Xiangxiang thought of was him. Not caring about Long Chen's struggles, he pointed a finger at his head. Long Chen's body suddenly shook. He didn't have the slightest ability to resist as a vast spiritual strength poured into his mind. See, investigating his memories. At first, Zhuo Xiangxiang's expression was twisted, but then he became shocked. As he went through Long Chen's memories, his sinister smile disappeared. He, he's really not Long Chen. Zhuo Xiangxiang released Long Chen disappointedly. He had finished rifling through his memories and seen his entire past. This person truly wasn't Long Chen. He was Long San. Protector Zhuo, are you sure he's not Long Chen? Asked the new tower master. He's not. I went through all his memories and saw everything in the eastern wasteland, sighed Zhuo Xiangxiang. It was a disappointment that he hadn't managed to get Long Chen's memories. As he had gone through Long Chen's past, he had seen him take an alchemy guild master named Yan Qi as his master. How he had cultivated to the point that he managed to take first place in the Pill Towers competition. And how he had run into a struggle on the vast sea and flown to the central plains. In truth. Other than the memories from the pill tower, the rest were all fake. They were what Long Chen had made for his guise as Long San. He had had the reincarnation mirror help him set this up. When an external power tried to touch the restriction the reincarnation mirror had left in his mind see, his memories would vanish, leaving behind only these fake memories. When the external power left, his memories would slowly return. Right now, Long Chen was standing there blankly as he recovered his memories and that appearance was just like someone recovering from a soul sark. Even a wily old fox like Zhuo Xiangxiang was tricked. Damn it, why does nothing I do ever go smoothly? If I hadn't prepared some trump cards in advance, I really might have been doomed. Long Chen cursed inside. His journey to Pill Valley was already going badly. When would his damn bad luck end? Then, Long San, he, probed the tower master. His meaning was whether he was still supposed to properly look after him. 
Long Sand Soul Energy is very powerful and rarely seen, but because it's been too long since he has refined pills, and his cultivation base advanced too much, he hasn't managed to consolidate his soul energy, making it sluggish. But this isn't a problem. He just needs some pills and some time to recover. He really is a decent sprout. As long as he listens to orders, he can be raised into a genius. I'll bring him with me, said Zhuo Xiang. In truth, while Zhuo Xiang acted calm, he was extremely shocked. Long Chen's spiritual strength was something he had never seen before from a foundation forging disciple. His spiritual strength was comparable to a peak soul transformation alchemist. In order to enter Pill Valley, Long Chen had made countless preparations. Right now, his soul was similar to what it would look like after he had spent three years not training in it. Now he had erased all of Zhuo Xiangxiang's suspicions. Making completely perfect lies wasn't possible, but to create some lies that didn't have any big holes and could last a short time was more than possible for Long Chen. He knew that this wily old fox was already planning some things for him. Saying that he could be raised into a genius if he listened to orders was a subtle warning. Many thanks protectors Huo. I will never forget your great kindness and favor. Long Chen acted like he was going wild with joy. Seeing Long Chen acting this way, Zhuo Xiangxiang nodded. He brought him away with his people, going straight for the Eastern Xuan Capital's transportation formations. Chapter 1327 Heaven Devouring Forest Translator Born to be senior call me protector Zhuo. And stop calling yourself I in front of me. Call yourself junior or this little one. Do you not even understand such simple manners? Adop a grand flying boat with Pill Valley's insignia. Zhuo Xiangxiang coldly chided Long Chen. Starting in the eastern Xuan capital, Long Chen had gone with Zhuo Xiangxiang through several transportation formations. But there were some places that could not be connected with transportation formations and required flying boats. On the way, Zhuo Xiangxiang and the other people from Pill Valley all ignored Long Chen, the winner of the Pill Towers competition. In the end, Long Chen couldn't help but open his mouth, but he was immediately chided. Through this anger, Long Chen could tell that Zhuo Xiangxiang still didn't like him, although his disguise was perfect. Zhuo Xiangxiang still saw the shadow of Long Chen on him. However, on this trip to Pill Valley, if he didn't find a good supporter for himself, he probably wouldn't be able to establish himself within, let alone get an opportunity to touch the Nirvana scripture. Cough. Disciple wishes to ask, according to what I remember from when the Tower Ancestor left, this badge was supposed to last 10 years. Why did it expire? Cough. Great protectors Huo. Why do I count as late? Asked Long Chen. HMPH. What do you know? It might be valid for 10 years, but the first three years are the most important period to build a foundation in Pill Valley. After missing that golden time, there's little value in raising you. Did you think we'd waste so much effort on bringing someone useless to Pill Valley? If your spiritual strength didn't just make the cut, then after missing those three years, even with this badge, you wouldn't have the qualifications to enter Pill Valley, said Zhuo Xiangxiang coldly. Hearing Zhuo Xiangxiang mention this golden time, Long Chen suddenly recalled that the tower ancestor seemed to have mentioned something similar, which was why he had wanted Long Chen to go with him. But Long Chen had refused. Fuck, what a con. He thought he could use this badge to show off his stuff in Pill Valley, but now, why did it feel like he didn't have any status at all? Long San, listen well. It'd be best if you could memorize every word I'm about to say. Zhuo Xiangxiang looked at the little brat in front of him. For some unknown reason, the image of that person who had slapped him in the face always appeared, and he had an urge to kill this brat. But he had no choice but to admit that Long Chen's spiritual strength was stunningly powerful and extremely rare. If he was properly raised, he could definitely become an alchemy genius. Of course. That was the only reason he was bringing him. However, before bringing him, Zhuo Xiangxiang had his own plans for him. He continued, With your current power, you simply aren't qualified to enter Pill Valley. I simply feel that your spiritual strength is not bad. If you work hard, and if I go all out to raise you, perhaps you will be able to become, 
Long Chen sneered inside. Once again, Zhuo Xiang Xiang was playing this kind of game with him. Just looking at him, Long Chen knew what he was thinking. But on the outside, he acted respectful, as if he was afraid of missing a single word. Bringing you into Pill Valley is my favor to you, but it's also part of my duty. You have to listen to me once you enter Pill Valley. If you're obedient, there will naturally be benefits to you. But if you start to get arrogant, let me tell you, your death will be very wretched. To tell you the truth, if you show your Pill Flame to any of Pill Valley's disciples, you'll make them all collapse in laughter. Within Pill Valley, even geniuses need powerful support. Without anyone to look after you, you won't have anything. Do you understand? From the very beginning, Long Chen had understood this old fox's intentions. He wanted Long Chen to be devoted to him. It seemed Pill Valley's interior was also not completely united. Disciple understands. Disciple will never forget protectors who owes kindness and favor. If I betray this oath, let me be struck by lightning, swore Long Chen. Being hit by lightning was nothing to Long Chen, so he didn't care if it really happened. But to an ordinary cultivator, this could cause a heart devil during tribulation, and it was one of the most frightening oaths. Seeing him swear such a heavy oath, Zhuo Xiang Xiang and the others were all moved. Protector Zhuo, if there's anyone you want to kill, I will help you. Long Chen patted his chest, but inside he was thinking, don't worry. I'll definitely help slash you a few times with my sabers Huo Xiang Xiang's expression was a bit rigid. Now that Long Chen had expressed such sincerity, he didn't feel right continuing to mock him. He lightly said, Good. Just properly listen and I definitely won't mistreat you. But if you don't do as you're told, I can take back what I've given you at any time. Zhuo Xiang Xiang's words were a mix of the carrot and stick. But Long Chen was already bored of such a game. Your spiritual strength is too stiff now, and you're unable to refine pills. This is spirit activation pill. It will allow your soul to recover its old flexibility. And at that time, I'll see your alchemy skills. Zhuo Xiang Xiang handed Long Chen a pill. Long Chen immediately consumed it. He entered one of the flying boat's private rooms to calmly digest the medicinal energy. After he was gone, one of the life star experts couldn't help ask. Is this Long San really of use? I don't know yet. His soul is in a strange state. It's not powerful, but vast like a sea. Even a late soul transformation alchemist wouldn't possess such soul energy. Since soul energy is the foundation of alchemy, this Long San's innate talent is definitely demon class. But we still don't know how his control, alchemy technique, and comprehension are, said Zhuo Xiang Xiang. To be able to take first place in the Pill Towers competition, he should be not bad, right? The Eastern Wasteland's Pill Tower is just some poor desolate shop. Can they raise any outstanding disciples? Even if Long San is an alchemy genius, without anyone to properly raise him, he wouldn't have any outstanding skills. Once his soul's reactivated, we can test him and see if he has the potential to enter the Divine Pill Hall. If he doesn't, then there's no need to waste the effort. Just send him directly to the pill order department, said Zhuo Xiang Xiang. Protector Zhuo, you're not going to personally tutor him? Your alchemy skills outclass all of ours, asked a life star expert. I don't want to. For some reason, I don't like looking at that brat. I'm going to rest and think about how I'm going to give my report, and how I'm going to handle those pedantic bastards' questions. Sides Huo Xiang Xiang, retreating to his own room. Three days later, Long Chen came out of seclusion. In truth, the stiffness of his soul was just part of his disguise. But to properly act, he only came out after three days. The Pill Valley experts immediately had Long Chen refine pills after coming out to see his technique and control. The alchemy ability Long Chen displayed was on the same level as when he had refined pills in the Eastern Wasteland's Pill Tower. Those Pill Valley experts shook their heads. These alchemy arts were too low in grade. They sighed disappointedly. Long San was already a bit too old, and he had spent so much time refining pills with these techniques. To have him start practicing Pill Valley's alchemy arts would require him to completely tear down and rebuild his foundation. It was impossible to change such habits without a few years. However, 
the comprehension ability that Long San displayed then completely stunned them. He would correct the flaws in his technique in just a few tries and completely adapt to new abilities in just a little while. They immediately began to teach him the most basic alchemy arts of Pill Valley, and Long San only took half a day to completely fix his old habits. His old habits and techniques didn't affect his alchemy at all. In just two days, Long San had completely learned Pill Valley's foundation alchemy arts. He could remember any pill formula with just a look. And when refining pills, he would only make a mistake once. He would never make the same mistake twice. Those life star alchemists were all shocked. They began to gradually teach him higher difficulty techniques and skills. Long Chen was just cooperating with them. With his pill sovereign memories, he should be the one teaching them. But winning their trust was a step-by-step -step process. On the way, one of these experts gave him an earth flame seed. Long Chen had no choice but to admit that Pill Valley really had too much money. They just randomly gave him the existence ranked 41st on the Earth Flame ranking. He refined the Earth Flame seed and told Huo Long not to devour it. For now, it was the flame he would have to use to cover up his identity. With this Earth Flame and everyone's guidance, Long San's alchemy arts progressed at astonishing speed each day. These alchemists were all incomparably excited and praised him as an alchemy genius. Even Zhuo Xiangxiang was drawn out. He hadn't expected to have found such a treasure. Long San was actually an alchemy genius with shocking comprehension. Thus, Zhuo Xiangxiang gave him a top grade king item medicinal furnace as encouragement. Long San immediately cried tears of gratitude and swore to work hard for Pill Valley. He acted however Zhuo Xiangxiang directed him. That loyalty was like Long San would attack whoever Zhuo Xiangxiang asked him to with no questions asked. But he found that while Zhuo Xiangxiang smiled, that smile was forced. He still couldn't conceal his dislike for Long San. Long Chen knew that no matter how he disguised himself, there would at least be some shadow of his true figure following him. It seemed Zhuo Xiangxiang hated him too strongly. Even if he knew Long San wasn't Long Chen, he still didn't like him. Damn it, I have to think of some way to escape his sight. His suspicions of me still haven't been completely erased. What should I do? Being stared at by this bastard all day was very uncomfortable. It felt like a poisonous snake was behind him, capable of biting him at any moment. The flying boat continued onward. It was midday with the sun high in the air when the sky suddenly darkened. Long Chen jumped in shock. Slow the boat down. We've reached the heaven-devouring forest. Zhuo Xiangxiang's voice was a bit heavy, and even his expression became solemn. The flying boat slowed down. Long Chen realized that this darkness was actually a thick forest. These are true ancient trees that reach the heavens. Chapter 1328 Complicated Relations Translator Born to be these trees truly reached the heavens. They were so huge that even the 300-meter flying boat was like an insect flying past them. The leaves of the trees completely covered the sky, making it so not even the slightest sunlight could reach them. That was why everything was black. Damn, they have to be over a hundred thousand meters tall. If I have a chance, I have to grab some and plant them in the primal chaos space. Long Chen's heart pounded as he looked at these huge trees. He had an urge to dig up a few of them right now. But these trees were sinister and frightening. They almost looked like fiends. Bursts of evil air came through the flying boat's protections. Turning Long Chen's scalp numb. What kind of trees could be so terrifying whispered Long Chen. Right now, including Zhuo Xiangxiang, all the flying boat's experts had solemn expressions. One of the elders who treated Long Chen well explained. This forest you see is one of the famed seven great danger zones the heaven-devouring forest. Each tree you see is a fiendish life form and incredibly dangerous. Although this is just the border, we still can't be careless. If we provoke a terrifying existence we probably won't be able to escape then why are we going through such a dangerous region? Why not go around? Long Chen couldn't help but ask. There are things you don't know. After the martial heaven continent went through the battle of the immortal era, it was fractured and it left behind countless spatial abysses that cannot be crossed. If we want to return to Pill Valley, the closest path is through the edge of the heaven-devouring forest. Although it's dangerous, 
It's also the fastest way. If we go around, we'd have to go all the way across the Marshall Heavensy Ring, and it would take at least two years. That expert kindly showed Long Chen a map. It was an extremely detailed map of the Central Plains. The Central Plains were wrapped around by the Marshall Heavensy Ring in a very perfect circle. At the center of the map was a square area marked as the Central Xuan region. It was drawn with a specific color. It was like a huge copper coin with the Central Xuan region being the center of it. The Eastern Xuan region, Western Xuan region, Southern Xuan region, and Northern Xuan region were also of different colors. This was Long Chen's first time seeing such a detailed map. He couldn't help being startled. The five regions were inconceivably evenly split. It was like someone had divided them up meticulously. Each of the four outer regions was the same size. As for the Marshall Heavensy Ring, it was a perfect ring of blue. Then from the Eastern Xuan region to the Central Xuan region, Long Chen saw a black mark. That had to be the spatial abyss that the Elder had mentioned. Other than this black mark, there was a green mark as well. On it were the words Heaven Devouring Forest written in the deep red of old blood. Before Long Chen could carefully look at the rest of the map, the flying boat shuddered as a thick vine suddenly bound them. Damnable headless creatures. We should have burned them to the ground. Cursed Suo Xiangxiang. That vine was several feet thick and was like a huge python that had caught its prey. It coiled around the flying boat tightly. Protectors Huo, what do we do? Asked a life star expert. Ignore it. We'll smash through it and continue forward. We don't have time to waste, said Suo Xiangxiang. Divine runes suddenly circulated around the flying boat, and a terrifying energy was unleashed, blowing apart the vine. Long Chen actually heard something akin to a startled cry. Increase the speed, shouted Suo Xiangxiang. The flying boat shot out like an arrow, but in that instant, the entire forest went berserk. What shocked Long Chen was that these ancient trees suddenly seemed to come to life, and huge branches slammed at the flying boat. At the same time, terrifying auras began to come from the trees. Those auras were similar to magical beasts, and they were not weaker than soul transformation experts. Countless runes lit up on the flying boat as it charged through the ancient trees. Anything in their way was blown away. Within the endless darkness, the flying boat continued to pierce through the forest. It was like an arrow piercing through tofu. Have these trees gained spirits? Why are they attacking? Cried Long Chen. They're not ordinary trees. They're tree demons from the spirit world. A very terrifying life form with immense life energy that makes them difficult to kill. As the flying boat continued onward, it continued to blow apart the trees. Although these trees were powerful, they couldn't stop the flying boat. But suddenly, a huge 3,000-meter figure appeared at the front and smashed a fist at the flying boat. The flying boat was actually knocked back. Long Chen involuntarily crashed forward and had to hold onto a pillar in the flying boat, or he'd smash into the edge of the flying boat. Human race, are you provoking my heaven-devouring forest? A furious roar came from that huge figure. The voice was like scraping metal and unpleasant to listen to. Furthermore, it was very strange. It was not the result of a mental transmission but true sound waves. Only at this time could Long Chen get a look at the giant figure. It was a huge wooden giant. Its head was covered in leaves, and its facial features were very vague. As for its eyes, they were two deep holes. But Long Chen sensed terrifying fluctuations coming from it. It was his first time seeing such a bizarre wooden giant. Since these trees came from the spirit world, the first thing Long Chen thought of was the forest divinity he had encountered in the eastern wasteland. It had also been a tree-shaped life form, but the two were very different. Her aura had been pure and graceful, while these tree giants possessed berserk auras even more violent than a magical beast's. Long Chen also thought of how he had helped the forest divinity gather flesh to activate a blood sacrifice and condense a gate between worlds. At that time, Long Chen had been very curious. That tree divinity had clearly been terrifyingly powerful, more than strong enough to kill magical beasts. But she had said that if it killed creatures on its own, it would absorb their resentment and grievance along with their energy, and that was poison. That tree divinity had also come from the spirit world. Then based on this, did it mean that the spirit world's creatures were split into two types? 
One type was similar to the forest divinity, while another was like these violent tree demons? Looks like I entered the wrong part of the spirit world last time. I probably entered the territory of these berserk tree demons and not the area of the forest divinity. Long Chen came to a sudden realization as to why his trip with Meng Chi to the spirit world before had been so dangerous. Following the first wooden giant, more and more of them appeared, completely surrounding the flying boat. A strange aura of slaughter filled the air. It's not that my human race is provoking you, but that your heaven-devouring forest goes too far. You are provoking Pill Valley, sneered Suo Xiangxiang. He appeared at the front of the flying boat, staring coldly at these wooden giants without the slightest fear. According to our ancient agreement, your heaven-devouring forest is allowed to take root here. This place is your domain, but my Pill Valley should have the authority to pass through it. Now, this flying boat not only has Pill Valley's mark, but also contains such dense flame energy. So you knew this was Pill Valley's flying boat, yet you still tried to stop us. What are you intending? Long Chen was shocked. Pill Valley was so powerful? Zhuo Xiangxiang was actually able to use Pill Valley's name to intimidate all these tree demons? Was that really possible? Furthermore, what was that ancient agreement? Who had decided on it? Countless questions swirled through Long Chen's mind. He seemed to smell some kind of bad stench. Your Pill Valley can pass, but you must follow the rules. You must go through our domain calmly and quietly so as to not disturb our sleeping life forms. Do you not know that when our children are startled awake, it will take decades just for them to fall asleep again? Sleeping is like cultivating to us. For you to not follow the rules like this, even if we killed all of you, we would be justified shouted the leader of the wooden giants. Ha ha ha, you really are brazen. Since you're getting arrogant, do you want to come and try it? My pill valley could allow you to stay here, but it can also kick you back to the spirit world. If you have the guts, then come. Let's see who has more guts between us. Zhuo Xiangxiang laughed and returned into the flying boat, shouting, Prepare the heavenly flame cloud arrow. If they dare to stop us, release it. Those life star experts didn't tarry. There was a three meter sphere within the flying boat, and they pressed their hands against it. Flame runes appeared in the air as they poured the energy of their pill flames into the sphere. Receiving this much energy from so many life star experts at once, the entire flying boat shuddered. The front of it opened up, and a huge ball of light appeared, still growing. A terrifying heat instantly set the air on fire. The trees within 10 miles were incinerated. The tree giants retreated. Although Long Chen couldn't see their expressions, he could guess that they were definitely filled with fear. Over 10 life star experts, who were also alchemists, had condensed all their energy together. The destructive power within it was unimaginable. Let them through. Send word that no one is to block the flying boats of Pill Valley. Just at this moment, a voice rang out from the depths of the forest. Chapter 1329 Thinking of a Way Translator Born to be the flying boat quickly left the heaven-devouring forest, no longer suffering any more attacks. Furthermore, as they flew by, the giant trees would open a path for them, which revealed the light of the sun. Protectors who owe is mighty. You managed to completely intimidate those wood idiots. Otherwise, it would have been troublesome, said a life star expert emotionally. The other life star experts nodded. If Zhuo Xiangxiang hadn't managed to intimidate the tree demons, it really would have been troublesome. HMPH. Those tree demons have been cultivating for too long. Even their heads have started to solidify. They're actually acting more and more unscrupulously. Back then, Pill Valley gave them some space and respected their living habits. Each time we passed, we would slow down. But those idiots actually took that as us being afraid of them. They would block our flying boat several times and threaten us. If we didn't do this, it probably wouldn't be long before they started demanding a toll for us to pass. Sneered Zhuo Xiangxiang. This detestable heaven-devouring forest doesn't even place Pill Valley in its eyes. It seems our prestige is dropping more and more. It's all because of those stubborn old bastards who are hidebound by convention. Otherwise, who would dare to say a word if we eliminated a few sects like the Zhuanshan Dao sect? Raged a life star expert. Long Chen quietly listened. Suddenly, Zhuo Xiangxiang glanced at him, 
and Long Chen knew that this bastard was about to kick him out, so he took the initiative. Seniors, it seems that you're talking about major classified matters. Does disciple need to step away? Probed Long Chen. Zhuo Xiangxiang had been about to send Long Chen away on the pretext of him needing to cultivate. After all, some things weren't appropriate for him to know. But now that Long Chen had put it like this, he didn't feel right kicking him out. Although Zhuo Xiangxiang still disliked Long San inside, he still felt that raising a powerful genius alchemist would bring him great benefits. If he kicked him out here, it would imply that he still thought of him as an outsider. There's no need. You're not an outsider, and you can know some things. You just have to remember them in your heart and not bring them up, said Zhuo Xiangxiang in the end. In truth, Long San will learn of this sooner or later. Learning it now isn't a bad thing, one of the Life Star experts explained. Pill Valley can be said to be the strongest power within the entire continent. Whether it's in terms of power or wealth, we completely beat the Zhuanshan Dao sect if we wanted to. We could crush them like ants. What's the Zhuanshan Dao sect? Is it very powerful? Long Chen acted stupid. Cough. I forgot you only encountered the alchemy world in the eastern wasteland and don't know anything about sects, said that elder. Zhuo Xiangxiang had gone through his memories and knew that Long San was completely focused on alchemy and knew very little about the cultivation world. As for mentioning the Zhuanshan Dao sect, it was just to vent some of his resentment at them. In any case, all you need to know is that Pill Valley is the strongest existence in the world. However, although we have all that power, a group of conservative old men still control Pill Valley. As a result, Pill Valley's position is dropping more and more in the world, its dignity being erased. Even a declined sect dares to provoke our prestige. It really is infuriating. Isn't the cultivation world one where the strong are respected? If they don't submit, then just beat them. Can't you just beat them into submission? Asked Long Chen, continuing to try and learn any secrets. It's Pill Valley's higher ups. They're too conservative and refuse to use our power to intimidate the world. It pisses me off. Hearing that elder's explanation, Long Chen learned that Pill Valley's interior was not united. Instead, there was a fierce fight going on inside. Long Chen summarized that Pill Valley had two factions. One was the conservative faction, while the other was the radical faction. The competition between the two sides was extremely intense. The so-called conservative faction was an advocate for staying neutral and not participating in any struggles. They focused on alchemy and were indifferent to anything else. The other faction, the radical faction, was unwilling to let Pill Valley go nowhere like this. Instead, it should be Pill Valley that controlled the continent. The radical faction criticized the conservative faction for being pedantic. They had also been the ones to allow the Huaian sect to slowly grow. After all, with Pill Valley existing first, if they had simply annihilated the Huaian sect with a thunderous blow at the start, there wouldn't be anyone who could compete with them. But the conservative faction had its own principles and was indifferent. They felt like representing Pill Valley's foundation was enough. The rise and fall of the cultivation world had nothing to do with them. Long Chen hadn't expected the situation to be like this. But to express his standpoint, he immediately began to curse the conservative faction for not showing initiative and not working on advancing. They stagnated, holding back Pill Valley's development. Long Chen's display satisfied Huo Xiangxiang and the others. At the very least, in terms of character, this Long San was not bad. They needed this kind of highly proactive youth. Protectors Huo, if you need anything, just tell me. Disciple will definitely accomplish it even if I must go through raging fire or deep water. After all, I, Long San, am also a member of Pill Valley, and I have the responsibility to push Pill Valley forward and excavate all my potential. I'll work hard to overthrow those pedantic rulers stopping Pill Valley's growth. I'll make them all get lost. Long Chen cried with righteous indignation as if the conservative party had somehow committed great atrocities against him. These words were mostly just big talk. Zhuo Xiangxiang and the others also felt that it was a joke that a small little disciple could overthrow the conservative faction. But they also approved of his attitude. So Zhuo Xiangxiang nodded. Good. Long San. 
Just remember that as long as you work hard enough and are loyal, you'll definitely receive the best grooming within Pill Valley. Once we arrive at Pill Valley, I'll tell you how to act. However, although your alchemy talent's decent, don't get easily satisfied. There are plenty of geniuses in this world. Your current accomplishments are nothing, so you need to work hard on improving your alchemy arts. No matter how good your talent is, you can't slack off. If you don't have the willpower to work through the boredom and loneliness, you won't have any big accomplishments. We all have a high view of your talent, so work hard. Yes, Disciple understands. Disciple will immediately enter seclusion and bitterly train. Long Chen said his goodbyes and returned to his room. Locking the door, he drank some wine and fell asleep, beginning his bitter training. Because of the underworld soul ghost curse, he was only able to use his spiritual yuan to form his flame energy. That was the only way to prevent the curse from reactivating. Other than refining pills, he couldn't do anything right now. In the past few days, he had been forced to be extremely careful with all these experts staring over his shoulder. It was truly tiring. When he finally had a chance to rest, he naturally took a good nap. Long Chen didn't know how long he had been sleeping for when he suddenly heard someone knock on the door. He hastily sat up and warmed up his pill furnace, looking like he had just been refining pills. Only then did he open the door. Working hard is good, but you need to balance it. After four more hours, we'll arrive at Pill Valley. Therefore, Protectors Hua wants you to make yourself presentable. Switch out your robes. One of Pill Valley's experts handed Long Chen a set of ocean blue embroidered robes. Long Chen washed up. His messy hair was tied into a knot behind his head. After putting on the robes, he looked much more alive and refreshed. With his tall stature, the robes even made him appear handsome. If he walked down the streets, he'd definitely turn a few heads. Haha, <laughs> not bad. As expected, the clothing makes the man. You're like a whole different Long San. When Long Chen came out, the elders were quite moved. He was like a completely different person. He had been like an impoverished beggar when they had first met him. But now, it was like he had become a prince. The visual impact was quite great. Truly not bad, but handsomeness doesn't have that much use. Of course, if you were able to seduce the pill fairy, that would be a different story. Zhuo Shiang Xiang looked over Long Chen. For some unknown reason. The image of Long Chen appeared in his mind as he looked at Long San. Who is the pill fairy? Asked Long Chen. Haha, <laughs> little fellow. Protectors Huo was just joking. Don't start getting carried away by your wishful thinking. W.I. your current power. You don't even have the qualifications to meet the pill fairy. Laughed one of the elders. Using this bit of time we have. I'll test you and see how well you've progressed after everything we've taught you. Zhuo Xiang directly began to test Long Chen on the foundational alchemy arts of Pill Valley. Long Chen answered all his questions easily. The most shocking thing to Zhuo Xiang and the others was that Long Chen was able to infer concepts completely beyond what they had initially taught him. Just from the foundational skills they had taught him, he proposed various theories. A portion of those were wrong, only looking right in theory, and Zhuo Xiang immediately corrected them but this terrifying comprehension ability still amazed them. Furthermore, his control over his pill flame had also reached a very high level. Even these old alchemists were stunned, but then thinking of his terrifying spiritual strength, they supposed that such precise control was only natural. We've arrived. Just at this moment, the flying boat stopped in front of a huge transportation formation. There were countless experts guarding it all of them wearing the robes of Pill Valley. Long San, just follow me, said Zhuo Xiang. Long Chen's heart turned cold as he realized what Zhuo Xiang was intending. In the future, Zhuo Xiang would be looking after him, but Long Chen didn't want to keep interacting with this fellow. He was worried about being seen through. Many thanks, Protector Zhuo. However, he had no choice but to put on a grateful expression as he thought of how to escape this fellow. As he descended the flying boat with Zhuo Xiang, he suddenly thought of an idea, and a wicked grin appeared on his face. He tightly followed behind Zhuo Xiang, locking his eyes on Zhuo Xiang's butt. Chapter 1330 Lord Brahma and Fallen Danite Translator
born to be Suo Xiang Xiang descended the boat first, while the others followed him. Clearly, his status was very high even within Pill Valley. The experts guarding the transportation formation all bowed toward him. As for Suo Xiang Xiang, he only nodded slightly in reply. Although these people were all life star experts, the guards had to be deferential to Suo Xiang Xiang's group. This is normal. Within Pill Valley, rather than having a high cultivation base, having high alchemy skills is the most important thing, said an elder upon seeing Long Chen's curious expression. Long Chen immediately understood. Pill Valley's foundation was their medicinal pills. They represented the alchemy world's greatest glory. So compared to cultivation base, alchemy was more important. However, to have four life star experts guarding a single transportation formation, Pill Valley's wealth was truly frightening. Just raising cultivation base is useless. Training your alchemy arts is the most important thing. Fighting and other coursework can be easily handled by others. That's why you don't need to feel inferior about having a low cultivation base. There are countless medicinal pills in Pill Valley that can raise your cultivation base. But raising your alchemy arts depends on yourself. Remember, alchemy arts are the most important thing in Pill Valley, said Suo Xiang Xiang. In Pill Valley's eyes, no matter how great your cultivation talent was, at best you would just be a high-level fighter. Alchemy was the truly important thing. Yes, many thanks for Protector Suo's reminder. Disciple will remember your words, said Long Chen. Zhuo Xiang Xiang suddenly felt something was off. Sweeping out with his divine sense, he saw Long San staring at his butt. He was startled. What illness did this brat have? He suddenly noticed a strange emotion in Long San's eyes. What the? Is this brat? Zhuo Xiang Xiang's hair stood on end. He suddenly thought of something strange. When he had gone through Long San's memories, he hadn't seen any memories of him falling for girls. In fact, even his memories of women were indistinct. He hadn't particularly noticed that before, but now with Long San staring at his butt, he immediately thought of it. He felt like Long San's gaze was like a viper's, sweeping back and forth across his butt. Goosebumps raised across his skin. This bastard, he's a homosexual Zhuo Xiang Xiang suddenly felt noxious. It was no wonder he had been feeling disgusted by him from the start. So this was the case. Long San, you walk at the front. Zhuo Xiang Xiang immediately stopped and made Long Chen come forward. Long Chen hastily stopped staring and said, How could disciple possibly walk in front of you? Disciple does not dare. Disciple would rather stay here and stare at protector Zhuo's grand back. That is disciple's glory. Zhuo Xiang Xiang was enraged. His suspicion that Long San was a homosexual increased even more. If I tell you to go to the front, then go to the front. Yes. Disciple will go immediately Long Chen acted cowed and walked to the front, but inside, he was ecstatic, with all the tricks up his sleeve, getting out of Zhuo Xiang Xiang's clothes watch was easy, Zhao Xiang, I suddenly recall I have many things to handle, I'll leave Long San to you, you'll be in charge of everything when it comes to Long San, said Zhuo Xiang Xiang to one of the experts beside him, me, but my alchemy arts are far inferior to yours said that Zhao Xiang. It's fine. Long San is definitely smart enough to enter the Divine Pill Hall. He'll get specialists to teach him alchemy arts at that time. With his talent, all you have to do is make sure he has what he needs. Give him everything he wants. If there are any difficulties, you can find me, said Zhuo Xiang Xiang. Yes, many thanks. Protector Zhuo. Zhao Xiang was extremely grateful. The other experts all had envious expressions. Long Chen was like a piece of fat meat in their hands. They would all be getting some benefits. That was because his future accomplishments would be amazing, and they would have contributed merit in bringing such a genius to Pill Valley. If their luck was good, they would be getting quite some benefits. Originally, they had thought Zhuo Xiang Xiang would be consuming this piece of meat on his own. But now Zhuo Xiang Xiang had abandoned this piece of meat and had tossed it to them. Long Chen was walking at the front, and hearing Zhuo Xiang Xiang's words, a disappointed expression appeared on his face. Inside, he patted himself on the back. As expected, shameless moves were the most effective. 
Now it would be much easier for him to act in the future. Zhuo Xiangxiang kept walking behind Long Chen the entire time before they stepped into the transportation formation and were brought away. The scenery before them changed, and they appeared in front of a huge valley. Two high mountains soared into the clouds, and a large river slowly flowed at the center. Spiritual qi that had been condensed to practically the pinnacle washed over them. With each breath, it flowed into them, completely opening their pores. What immense spiritual qi although Long Chen had been expecting Pill Valley to be a wonderland. Such dense spiritual qi still shocked him, let alone cultivators. Even ordinary people would have their longevity increase by breathing in such dense spiritual qi all year round. Living a few centuries would definitely be no problem. To ordinary mortals, this place was definitely an immortal wonderland. Take note of your appearance. Now that we're within Pill Valley, don't act like a country bumpkin. If you look too excited, others will laugh at you, snorted Zhuo Xiangxiang. Long Chen cursed inside. So what if he was a country bumpkin that hadn't seen the world? But he put on a deeply respectful expression. The more Long Chen acted like this, the more Zhuo Xiangxiang couldn't bear to look at him. He said, I have things to do, so I'm going. You can bring Long San to the pill management department to register. Zhuo Xiangxiang took out a jade plate. It lit up and enveloped him, and he vanished. We should get going. Once Zhuo Xiangxiang left, Zhao Xiang took out a flying boat and brought everyone into the valley, with the high mountains to their side and the lake below. It was a beautiful scene. Haha, <laughs> Long San, Protector Zhuo has a sharp tongue, but he's soft-hearted. You don't need to be afraid. As Pill Valley's disciple, you should feel the glory and grandness that a disciple of Pill Valley should possess. What you see before you will become your greatest support. If you're happy, you can shout it out. None of us will laugh at you. Zhao Xiang smiled as Long Chen appreciated the scenery around. He was different from Zhuo Xiangxiang. His status was just average, and he had to take advantage of when Long San hadn't soared yet to form a good relationship with him. Once Long San soared, his own station would rise with him. This was the best moment to help him out. Many thanks, Elder Zhao Xiang, said Long Chen. There's no need to be so courteous. This valley continues for 200,000 miles. It has 81 wonders, and 360 turns. Each turn brings with it different scenery. Zhao Xiang politely explained everything. He intentionally slowed down the flying boat to show the various spectacles. Long Chen had no choice but to sigh in admiration. Each wonder, each turn brought with it a change. It occurred at a strange rhythm that seemed to be showing things to him in sequence. Could it be that each wonder represents a different mental realm of alchemy? Asked Long Chen. As soon as he said this, Zhao Xiang and the others became stunned, staring at him like he was a monster. Long San, you really are a genius amongst geniuses. This valley's 81 wonders represent the 81 shackles one will encounter along the path of the alchemy Tao. Normally, when disciples run into bottlenecks and can't progress, they will come to this valley and walk around it trying to comprehend its profundities to create an opportunity to break through. Long San, for you to be able to see such a thing shows that your future accomplishments will be limitless praised an elder. This was not just purely bootlicking, but true praise for Long Chen's terrifying comprehension ability. 81 shackles? What did he have concluded that? The alchemy Tao is a grand Tao, and a limitless Tao at that. Who could possibly capture all its profundities? What a joke, sneered Long Chen inside. As he continued forward, he truly saw that each wonder was a mental realm for alchemy, and seeing them could truly raise a person's comprehension. But trying to represent the sum of the alchemy Tao in 81 mental realms was a complete impossibility. Originally, Long Chen had felt some respect for Pill Valley, but after seeing this, that respect silently vanished. When they reached the end of the valley, what greeted them was a huge ancient castle. This castle had to be 10,000 miles wide at least. There were two large statues at the front of the castle. They were the same height as the castle and emitted a divine aura. These two are the gods we of Pill Valley believe in, Lord Brahma and Fallen Day Knight. Zhao Xiang and the others respectfully stopped and bowed toward the statues. They murmured something, but Long Chen didn't hear what they said. 
That was because he was staring closely at the two huge statues. The left one was holding a scroll in his hand. He looked very handsome and scholarly. He was Lord Brahma. The other one was a rougher looking man with facial hair. He held a pill furnace in his hands and was gazing into the distance. He was fallen day night. Fallen day night? Lord Brahma. For some unknown reason, flames of fury rose in Long Chen's heart as he stared at these two statues. He had an urge to smash them apart. That startled him. What was going on? At this time, Zhao Xiang and the others finished paying their respect and led Long Chen past the two statues. Their flying boat landed on a large platform. Long San, come. I'll bring you to register at the pill management department. Fallen day night is literally falling heaven sky day night. Proconst Luo Tianyi. Lord Brahma is literally great nirvana or Lord Brahma. Here, I would assume the Brahma is referring to the Buddhist Brahma and not the Hindu Brahma. Generally the middle character is used for Buddhist things, and it could refer to Brahman. Notice the extra N at the end, on its own, but combined with the last character, it refers to Brahma and the Nirvana of Buddhism. The Nirvana scripture has the same name, in the sense that it could be called Lord Brahma's scripture, or Lord Brahma could be called Lord Nirvana. Pronounced De Fantian, Chapter 1331 Divine Pill Hall Test Translator Born to be the ancient castle felt like a giant beast emitting a desolate aura. Once Zhao Xiang led Long Chen into the palace, they weren't checked or questioned. Zhao Xiang simply greeted the guards and walked in with Long Chen. Once they were inside, Long Chen saw that the entire castle was supported by a huge formation. The spiritual qi inside was several times denser than outside, which made Long Chen once more sigh at Pill Valley's wealth. Long Chen saw that this place, which was a holy land to alchemists, was bustling with activity. He saw quite a few young disciples walking around, but they all seemed to be in a rush and ignored him. The thing that shocked him was that some of them were extremely young. Some only looked to be 16 or 17 and their cultivation bases were only in the meridian opening realm. Pill Valley cares about alchemy, not cultivation base. The younger the disciple, the more potential that can be unlocked while they're in Pill Valley, and the lower their cultivation bases, the more room for their spiritual strength to grow. So it's normal for you to see disciples with low cultivation bases. However, the competition between disciples is intense. Those who can enter Pill Valley are all alchemy geniuses. But even geniuses become ordinary people here. Geniuses are all used to being arrogant existences worshipped by others. So when they come here, they all go all out cultivating. There's practically no need to encourage them. You see how busy they are. Even friends will only nod toward you in passing. That's because they feel that speaking is a waste of time. They need to spend all their time on cultivation explained Zhao Xiang. Wow, is there a need to go all out like this? Long Chen was stunned. They didn't even want to waste the time to speak? Long Chen felt like he had been training hard, but now in comparison, it seemed that he was a slacker. He, they have no choice. Sometimes, just honor and glory are enough to drive a person to do their best. Everyone wants to stand above others and not be trampled on. Within Pill Valley, alchemy is everything. So they have no choice but to cultivate their alchemy arts to the peak. As long as your alchemy arts are great enough, you can get whatever you want. Furthermore, alchemists walk a different path from ordinary cultivators. They don't need to remain hasty. As long as you become strong enough, you can get as many resources and beauties as you want. You won't even need to ask. They'll simply flock toward you. He, you understand. Zhao Xiang winked at Long Chen. The benefits were this great? It seemed living in Pill Valley would be amazing. For normal cultivators, once they reached the Xi'anshan realm, they could theoretically start producing progeny, and that wouldn't stop them from advancing in the future. But the majority of cultivators wouldn't start doing so immediately after reaching the Xi'anshan realm. That was because the higher the realm of the parents, the greater the purity of their spirit blood and the greater chance their progeny would inherit their bloodline and be termed geniuses. That was why most cultivators would cultivate until they reached their peak before they considered getting a partner and creating progeny. For male cultivators, they would usually find one or more Deo companions after reaching the Xi'anshan realm. 
but they wouldn't have progeny. For males, becoming deo companions with someone else wouldn't cause any problems for them. But female cultivators normally wouldn't choose to become deo companions. This related to problems of the heart. For many men, women were like wealth to be gained, and this satisfied their desire to conquer others. But they didn't have that many real emotions toward this act. But for women, when it came to these matters, especially during their first time, it caused large ripples in their hearts. Normally, they would only dual cultivate with the one they loved. This was different from the attitude of male cultivators. As for what was different, it was that one cared about the heart, while the other cared about appearances. For a woman to love a man represented a large change in their mental realm. Losing their virginity would definitely cause their mental realm to become chaotic for a while. Cultivation was like rowing against the tide. If you weren't moving forward, you were going back. So for men, dual cultivation wouldn't normally cause that big of an impact, but it would cause quite the impact for women. Unless the woman simply didn't love the man and was also simply doing it for his looks, in which case she could also get the same benefits. But normally, the gains didn't make up for the losses. But alchemists were different. Even women didn't need to care that much about that aspect. As long as their talent and comprehension were high enough, they didn't need to necessarily maintain a perfectly clear heart. That was why Pill Valley didn't prohibit their disciples from doing such things. Zhao Xiang was telling Long Chen this to give him motivation. After all, he was a man. Zhao Xiang explained Pill Valley's rules and restrictions on the way. It was about the same as any sect they quickly arrived at a stately building. This was the Pill Management Department, a place where all the new disciples went to register themselves. They were also in charge of all the missions inside Pill Valley. With Zhao Xiang leading the way, the process was very simple. Long Chen simply handed over his badge, and the rest was left up to Zhao Xiang. It was quickly handled. Long Chen obtained a new badge, a true disciple badge. This is an inner disciple's badge. It's not that useful and just part of the process. Your goal is the Divine Pill Hall, a place where the elite disciples cultivate. The treatment they get there is a thousand times better than what an inner disciple will ever get. Pill Valley has millions of outer disciples and over 80,000 inner disciples. As for the Divine Pill Hall, they only have 3,000 disciples. This number never changes. The Divine Pill Hall expels the lower ranking disciples when new disciples join. Take a look. The next competition for inner disciples to get into the Divine Pill Hall is in 10 days. This competition only occurs once every two months, and only the top thousand inner disciples are qualified to compete. I was thinking that you should only compete in the competition after this one, but protectors Huo said time is pressing. Only by entering the Divine Pill Hall will you receive the best treatment. You're just an inner disciple right now, and Protectors Huo is only able to give you a few resources. After all, there are those ancient bastards holding us back. But if you join the Divine Pill Hall, all kinds of precious resources will be provided to you, and they won't dare to say a thing. Yes, this disciple understands Protectors Huo's kindness. Ah, speaking of which, Elder Zhao. Have you heard of the second volume of the Nirvana scripture? Will disciple have a chance to train in it? Asked Long Chen. That, that might be a bit troublesome. The first volume is freely available to any disciple and isn't top secret. But the second volume requires a certain status and position in order to train in it. Most of the time, you have to reach the level of a tower master to learn it. Zhao Xiang shook his head. Even he wasn't qualified to learn the second volume of the Nirvana scripture. Really? Disciples can't learn it. Long Chen couldn't help being disappointed. He had come entirely for the second volume of the Nirvana scripture. If he couldn't learn it, then he would have come for nothing. In truth, disciples can also learn it. But it depends on how outstanding you are. As long as you can put on a stunning enough display, I trust protectors who will definitely help you obtain it comforted Zhao Xiang, afraid of him losing motivation. Long Chen passed the next few days in a private room. In it, there were several stacks of jade plates as tall as a grown man, numbering in the thousands. Each of them contained ancient alchemy canons. They recorded alchemy theories or even lost summaries. 
Some theories were left behind by ancestors and were the result of their life's experience. Idiots. If a person read too many of these, they probably wouldn't even be able to refine pills after. Novaloon.com Long Chen was secluded in his room on his own, studying these things. That was because this was related to the competition to join the Divine Pill Hall. The competition had two parts, theory and practice. He didn't just need to know how to refine pills, but he also needed to be able to discuss the theory behind the refinement as well. And yet, these things were all personal viewpoints and theories of different people, all based on their own lives and experiences. Yes, it was true that their alchemy arts and theories were novel and innovative, but these things were only suited to themselves. It was like everyone was learning how to paint, and he was trying to paint an image of a landscape. Did showing him paintings of beautiful women help him at all? The most irritating thing was that he needed to know this, and he had to be able to write out his impression and what he learned from reading them. Otherwise, they wouldn't let him pass, just because he wanted to cook a chicken. Did he need to know how a chicken existed? Did they really care about which came first, the chicken or the egg? Unfortunately there was no way around this. The competition would be testing on this. If he didn't pass the theory aspect, he wouldn't even get to go to the refining portion. After 10 days of studying, Long Chen had an urge to vomit. Even with his immense spiritual strength, memorizing all these things gave him a headache. Furthermore, some of these theories were fundamentally flawed, but he still had to memorize them. He had to be wrong with them. That was because the competition would test this, and he had to reply within the scope of these texts to get his answer marked correct. This was Long Chen's first time having to study such irritating alchemy knowledge. Zhao Xiang was a bit worried to see Long San come out in just 10 days. For most cultivators, memorizing all these theories in two months would be impressive. But 10 days? That was a bit unbelievable. Zhao Xiang was in charge of Long San, and so his station would rise and fall according to Long San's result. Looking worried, he asked, How do you feel? I feel alright, and I've pretty much memorized them all. It should be no problem. Long Chen rubbed his weary face. For the second volume of the Nirvana scripture, he had no choice but to go all out. Good. Don't feel too much pressure. Even if you fail this time, you'll definitely pass the next one, comforted Zhao Xiang. Zhao Xiang led Long Chen toward the pill management department. Once they were in, Long Chen saw that the inside was packed with people already. Long San, he had only just walked in when a stunned voice rang out. Chapter 1332 Soul Gathering Heart Tempering Pill Translator Born to be Long San, Novaloon.com Long Chen was startled. Someone actually recognized him here? Turning toward the voice, he saw a young man amongst this crowd of close to a thousand disciples. Each one of them had a small table in front of them, like they were scholars about to take a test. Sorry, you are. Long Chen didn't recognize him. Shut up. Who said you could speak so loudly here? A Jade Core disciple sternly shouted at him. This disciple was already quite old, so his temper wasn't good. Long Chen frowned. The Jade Core disciple glared at Long Chen, and Long Chen almost couldn't help but slap him in the face. He had an urge to curse this disciple, but he didn't say anything. Now wasn't the time to start being arrogant. Silently walking around that disciple, he walked toward the person who knew him. Long San, sit. Sorry, I made you get scolded. Apologized that person quietly. Zhao Xiang just happened to see the side of Long Chen quietly turn away from the disciple who had scolded him so sternly. Seeing that he didn't dare to reply, he shook his head. This Long San's character is too timid. It's not good for us. I'll have to report it to protectors Huo, thought Zhao Xiang to himself as he left. Long Chen didn't recognize this man at all, so he couldn't help but find it strange. Long San. After winning the championship in the Eastern Wasteland, you probably forgot this little one. The disciple bitterly smiled. I think I remember. You were in the competition too, said Long Chen, coming to a sudden comprehension. In truth, this comprehension was just guesswork. He still didn't recognize this person at all. He put his answer in a questioning tone to avoid things becoming awkward if he was wrong. Yes, I'm Li Kang. Do you remember me now? 
That person was happy that Long Chen recognized him. He didn't even know he had just fallen for Long Chen's trick. Long Chen had no idea who Li Kang was. Supposedly, he had been in the Eastern Wastelands competition as well. Li Kang recognized Long Chen, but Long Chen didn't recognize him. Long San, why did it take you so long to come? It's been many years. Don't even mention it. It's depressing. How have the other people from the Eastern Wasteland been doing here? Did anyone manage to get some strong support? Long Chen changed the subject. Only after coming did we realize that our so-called talent was nothing here. We were just green leaves coming to show off before the flowers of the Central Plains. Li Kang bitterly smiled. The disciples who came from the Eastern Wasteland are mostly outer disciples. They probably won't get promoted in their lifetimes. As for me, I'm not doing too bad. After three years, I finally managed to get the qualifications for the Divine Pill Hall trial. Amongst these people, I rank 987th. In other words, there's pretty much no hope of me passing. But even just taking the test will improve my standing amongst the inner disciples. If I didn't take the test, the others would look down on me all day. Really? It's this bad? What about that female disciple? What's her name again? Long Chen thought of a certain person. Duan Xiang Kiyo. Her talent is very good, and she managed to get into the Divine Pill Hall. In truth, she helped me out quite a bit to be promoted into an inner disciple. But after getting in the Divine Pill Hall, she has become distant from me. Perhaps our statuses are no longer similar. Sighed Li Kang. People strove for the top while water always flowed to the bottom. Those who stood at different heights ran in different circles. This was understandable. You two flies, stop buzzing. It's annoying. If you don't want to take the test, you can scram. Stop disturbing others. As Long Chen and Li Kang quietly whispered, another disciple to the side who had had his eyes closed suddenly glared at them. Long Chen looked at him and saw that he was glaring at him disdainfully. It seemed that his ranking amongst inner disciples was very high. Perhaps he had a high chance of getting promoted. Long Chen cursed. If this was inside the Zhuanshan Dao sect, he'd have long since slapped such a person to death. But he had nothing to say now. It seemed wherever he went, he would encounter countless idiots. Even if he didn't cause trouble, others would find trouble for him. Silence. Just at this moment, a cold shout rang out, and eight elders walked in. All soul transformation experts. The eight elders were all wearing stern expressions, as though everyone here owed them money. These people were in charge of the trial, and they were here to prevent cheating. Their eyes were all as sharp as an eagle's. Long Chen shut his mouth and found his position. Who is Long San? asked one of the elders. Disciple is present. Long Chen hastily stood. Show me your badge. I have to check it. This surprised Long Chen. It seemed that this test was very stringent. Although his identity had already been confirmed when he had walked in, they checked him again. The elder examined his badge closely and then nodded. You were added to this trial late, so you have to be checked stringently. You don't need to feel any pressure. Long Chen's eyes brightened. He knew that this elder was on his side. Zhao Xiang had said everything should go smoothly. It was easy to tell who was on his side. The others all looked like saying an extra word was too much work. So the ones speaking to Long Chen were on his side. But these elders were only in charge of overseeing the test. And they couldn't help him. If he cheated, he would immediately be expelled. In fact, he would be directly kicked out of Pill Valley. Pill Valley's test was 100% fair and did not allow any cheating. Beast hides were quickly distributed. Long Chen couldn't help but bitterly smile. Wasn't this just like the secular world's imperial exams? Long Chen looked at it, and as expected, it was about the things he had studied during these days. It was actually very simple, but the final question was a bit difficult. The question was to list the various medicinal pills that could be refined based on the given medicinal ingredients. The more they could list, the more points they would get. Long Chen couldn't help but feel a struggle with this question. With these many medicinal ingredients, he had over a thousand pill formulas that could be written from his pill sovereign memories. But many of those pill formulas no longer existed in this world. He didn't dare to randomly write them. He had an urge to use his spiritual strength to investigate how many pill formulas others wrote. 
but those eight elders were like hawks watching their every move. He truly didn't dare to do so. What to do? Too many is no good, and too few might get me eliminated. Fuck. Long Chen suddenly had a thought. He stealthily picked out a budger and wiped the mucus along the edge of the beast hide. He used it as a mirror to look around silently. Turning that corner, he managed to see what the person who had scoffed at him had written. 1, 2, 27 in total. All right, that's not bad. Long Chen managed to see what that fellow had written barely through the mucus. He couldn't see the exact pill formulas, but he was able to see how many lines he had written. Achoo. Long Chen suddenly sneezed, and his mucus ended up all over his beast hide. He hastily began to wipe it off. You, what are you doing? One of the elders suddenly appeared behind Long Chen like a ghost. Sorry, disciple had to fly over the sea for three years. Facing the constant sea winds, Pill Valley's spiritual chi is too dense, and my nose is sensitive. I'm sorry, Long Chen apologized as his sneeze had disturbed the disciples around him. He had no way around this. He had noticed those old fellows were getting suspicious and getting close behind him. That was why he had sneezed. To wipe away the proof. The elder stared at him coldly. But Long Chen looked back at him without the slightest fear. Seeing his expression without the slightest fear or panic. He didn't say anything else. He had only been a bit suspicious in any case. HMPH. You want to play mental warfare with me? Long Chen sneered inside and continued answering the questions. That fellow beside him had seemed so confident before, so his ranking should be near the top, but he was still cautious. He only wrote 53 pill formulas, just double of that fellow. They had two hours to answer their questions. Long Chen had long since finished, but he continued until the very end to hand in his scrolls with everyone else. What when the elder saw Long Chen's scroll? When he saw the answer to his last question, he was absolutely stunned. Haha, <laughs> excellent the elder on his side laughed. Long Chen knew he was indicating that he had probably gotten first on this test, but the results were not immediately announced. Instead, they switched locations into a lounge where over a thousand refining platforms had been provided. Each platform was 10 meters wide. The furnaces and cauldrons had already been arranged and the pill formula was under the furnace. The disciples who had come here were mostly ones that had taken this test many, many times. They were already used to this scene, but when they arrived at their spots and saw the pill formula in front of them, all their expressions changed. Impossible. Long Chen looked at the pill formula and also couldn't help being stunned. A ninth-tier medicinal pill, the soul-gathering heart-tempering pill. This was a must-have pill for Jade Core cultivators. It made their mental realms clear and expelled any foreign influences. Damn it. I only trained in the methods to refine 8th tier medicinal pills before this. I didn't refine a 9th tier pill for them to see. Long Chen felt quite a bit of pressure. Let the refinement begin. Just as all the disciples despaired, an elder announced the start of the trial. Chapter 1333 Vast Soul Energy Translator Born to be disciple gives up. Immediately. A portion of the disciples directly gave up. These disciples were indignant. Many of their cultivation bases were at the foundation forging realm or below. Some were only at the sea expansion realm. They obviously couldn't refine a ninth tier pill. According to normal standards, a ninth tier pill could only be refined by a Jade Core expert. But in Pill Valley, those standards were overthrown. Pill Valley always changed the difficulty of the pill to be refined. Sometimes it would be easy, sometimes it would be difficult, but this trial was held every two months, so failing this time wasn't terrible, as long as their ranking didn't fall out of the top thousand, they could try again, those people who had given up could only blame their bad luck and prepare to test their luck next time, they knew that just refining ninth tier medicinal ingredients into powders was their limit, as for refining a true ninth tier pill, it was a joke. Their spiritual strength couldn't handle such exhaustion. For almost half the contestants to leave at once didn't surprise the soul transformation experts at all. They were indifferent to this. Clearly having long since expected such a thing. The remaining alchemists had bitter expressions. They had stayed behind. Mostly by thickening their faces. They were quite sure they couldn't refine it. 
There were 70 to 80 Jade Core alchemists amongst the people being tested, but they felt even more panicked than the Foundation forging disciples. Their higher cultivation bases also signified their ages far surpassed these people. Within Pill Valley, the younger you were and the lower your cultivation base, the greater room for growth you had. Other sects' disciples did their best to raise their cultivation bases, but Pill Valley's disciples did their best to suppress their cultivation bases from growing. The lower their cultivation bases, the easier it would be to comprehend certain alchemy techniques and the more solid their foundation would be. Once their cultivation bases were higher, it would be difficult to fix the fundamental flaws in their alchemy. It was like an adult and a youth had the same talent. The younger one would definitely be able to adapt easier, because their minds were still flexible. Once these Jade Core disciples reached the Soul Transformation Realm, their alchemy arts would no longer be up to par with Pill Valley's standards for people of their cultivation base. They would be expelled from Pill Valley and sent to work in the Pill Towers without any chance of returning to cultivate in Pill Valley. Although they were doing their best to suppress their cultivation bases, refining pills meant using their core flame, and that was a passive form of cultivation in and of itself. It was impossible for them to not advance eventually. These Jade Core disciples looked young, but in truth, even the youngest was in his 50s. His cultivation base was about to reach the peak of the Jade Core Realm. Once he broke through to soul transformation, he would be expelled. Long Chen looked around, seeing how nervous everyone else was about this pill. He relaxed quite a bit. If their expressions had been relaxed, he would have felt much more pressure. All of them began taking out their pill flames and warming their furnaces. All their movements were identical. If the outside world's alchemists were to come here, they would definitely die of envy. That was because all these disciples' pill flames were earth flames. It had to be known that in the eastern wasteland, the earth flame Long Chen had obtained had been the envy of all. Even the pill tower hadn't had an earth flame, or the Chai and Fang family's heads wouldn't have wanted to kill him to take his earth flame. Just thinking about it made him sigh. Long Chen wasn't quite able to understand how Pill Valley was so rich, but the eastern wasteland's pill tower was so poor. Why weren't they willing to give out a few earth flames? Otherwise, the Chai and Fang's family heads wouldn't have turned against him, and their fates might have changed. At this time, people were already starting to refine their ingredients, and Long Chen didn't tarry. To be Loki, he used the same alchemy techniques as all of them. However, he couldn't be too complacent. He had to show his value. Zhuo Shiang Xiang and the others would only have viewed him importantly if he was valuable, and that was his only chance at obtaining the Nirvana scripture. Long Chen's pill flame suddenly began to grow stronger. He was starting to burn his spiritual strength to increase the power of his pill flame. A terrifying heat rose, causing the surrounding people to jump. HMPH, what a flowery trick. How could a foundation forging disciple refine a ninth tier medicinal pill? He couldn't possibly possess the soul energy required, sneered some Jade Core disciples. The Foundation Forging disciples present all felt that they had pretty much no hope. They were simply doing this to experience the refinement of this pill. They had no hopes of forming a pill. Most importantly, they wanted to see if others could refine this pill. According to reason, a Foundation Forging disciple's spiritual strength should have no problem refining the medicinal ingredients and it should have no problem during the pill refinement process. It was only at the final moment that they would stumble. By the time they were about to condense the pill, they would have no more spiritual strength. The final part, condensing the pills, took the most energy. Normally, alchemists would reserve 50% or more of their spiritual strength to control that final burst of energy. For foundation forging disciples, just refining the ingredients would use up over half their energy. Without using up that much, it would be impossible to extract the essence within those tough ingredients. For Long San, someone only at the foundation forging realm, to actually start wasting his spiritual strength to boost the power of his pill flame, it was viewed as making things even worse for himself. Despite knowing that he had no chance of succeeding, he still wanted to draw attention to himself. Even that elder on his side who had spoken to him was startled. The higher-ups had told him to help Long San as much as possible. 
but he couldn't figure out Long San's current actions. The competition's difficulty was already so high, but he was making it even harder for himself. For it to be hard wasn't bad, nor was it unfair. If it was easy, everyone would have good results, and the top three would advance. And if it was difficult, all their results would be bad, and it would still be the top three that would advance. In any case, three people would be joining the Divine Pill Hall, and the three lowest ranking members of the Divine Pill Hall would be kicked out. Disciples that were kicked out of the Divine Pill Hall weren't simply allowed to try again. They would be forced out of Pill Valley and sent to the Pill Towers. If you weren't strong enough, then even once you entered the Divine Pill Hall, you would only get two months. If you didn't advance enough in that time and were ranked in the bottom three, then you would only ever get those two months in the Divine Pill Hall. It was precisely because of this high difficulty that all of Pill Valley's disciples went all out cultivating their alchemy arts. Even the Divine Pill Hall's disciples were in danger. But Long Chen's current actions were very foolish, and people couldn't comprehend what he was doing. However, with so many people present, even the people on his side couldn't warn him. They could only watch. Boosting his pill flame with his spiritual strength was like adding oil to fire. The power of his earth flame roared. One reason Long Chen did this was to show off his power, and another was to purify the medicinal ingredients. That way, his chances of succeeding in this refinement would be higher. During this time, if he hadn't come to Pill Valley, his alchemy arts would have been wasting away. During the Foundation Forging Realm, he hadn't refined many medicinal pills to assist his cultivation. If he hadn't been doing that stupid studying, he really might be worried whether or not he could refine a ninth tier medicinal pill. A bang came from his medicinal furnace, and he poured all his medicinal powders inside, sealing the furnace. He sealed the furnace already. The other disciples were all startled. No one else had even refined half their medicinal ingredients yet. HMPH. Is it amazing to exhaust your spiritual strength faster than everyone else? Do you want to show off? Sneered a Jade Core disciple not far from him. This competition did not prevent disciples from speaking. As long as they didn't maliciously try to distract them, the people overseeing the competition wouldn't care. Long Chen lowered his head and acted like he couldn't hear that person. He had to act like a good student, an obedient child. This was very important. That was why since arriving at Pill Valley, whenever someone provoked or even cursed him, he would always act very timid. This was what he wanted. Just as the fastest Jade Core disciples had finished refining their medicinal ingredients and were preparing to seal their furnaces, a rumbling sound suddenly came from Long Chen's furnace. He, he's finished already. Those disciples were all shocked. Only now did they realize that while his pill flame was like a blooming lotus wrapped all around his furnace, his spiritual strength hadn't weakened at all. Instead, it gushed forth like a tsunami, increasing the power of his pill flame to its peak. It was no wonder he finished his refinement so fast. Those disciples that had mocked him were now staring at him lifelessly. Even the elders overseeing this, the ones whose expressions looked like they were frozen in eternal ice, were shocked. Long Chen's spiritual strength was shockingly vast, practically endless. The rumbling sound continued like a monster was struggling within, trying to break free. Now's the critical moment. Many disciples were focused on him now. The fluctuations coming from his pill furnace suddenly began to weaken. But this was the calm before the storm, the dark before the light. 99% of pills that failed were ruined here. Boom. His pill furnace violently shook and terrifying energy spurted out of it. If at this time, the alchemist's spiritual strength was not strong enough, they wouldn't be able to suppress this berserk energy. Once this energy escaped their control, all their efforts would be ruined. Even if the pill formed, it would be a garbage pill. A spiritual hand slammed into the pill furnace, sealing it tight. It was like an unmoving mountain and was extremely domineering. Heavens! He still has the energy to use a soul art now? Just how much spiritual strength does he possess? All the disciples were shocked. For most disciples, their souls would be exhausted at this point. They would need to form spiritual seals around the furnace in advance to seal the berserk energy. But Long Chen hadn't prepared anything. 
He had just slammed a spiritual hand down when the energy had been about to burst, completely suppressing it. That was too arrogant, wasn't it? Long Chen slowly opened his furnace, revealing nine round medicinal pills calmly lying within. He couldn't help but shake his head. Chapter 1334 Formally Accepting a Master? Translator. Born to be seeing Long Chen shaking his head, the disciples were startled. It was a failure, but it hadn't looked like one. Only three rings. Long Chen took out one of the nine pills, revealing it only had three rings. The rest only had two rings. After working so hard, he had only refined a three-ring pill. That disappointed him. Had his alchemy arts regressed? Or was it due to the curse? He hadn't held back much just now. Having used about 80% of his true ability, he had thought that even if he didn't refine a top-grade pill, it should be no problem refining a nine-ring high-grade pill. But either he had overestimated himself or underestimated the difficulty of refining the soul-gathering heart-tempering pill. He couldn't even tell if it was because of the curse. That was why he was a bit stunned. TCH. What a show-off. Countless disciples almost coughed up blood from seeing Long Chen's disappointed expression. For the foundation forging disciples, just forming a pill would be a huge success, even if it was just a garbage pill. As for the Jade Core disciples, originally they had felt that just refining a low-grade soul-gathering heart-tempering pill would be enough. If they refined a middle-grade one, they would be mostly assured of getting in the top three. They hadn't even thought about refining a high-grade one. For Long Chen to actually sigh with disappointment after refining a three-ring pill was truly unbearable. It was definitely bullying. Pay attention to your mental state. You are alchemists. With such a mentality, what kind of accomplishments could you possibly have? Shouted a stern elder. Only then did Long Chen come out of his stunned expression. From those envious expressions around him, he seemed to understand something. Congratulations, Long San. You can wait outside. One of the elders who was on his side spoke to Long Chen. A smile on his face. Long Chen's skill far surpassed his expectations. Yes, Long Chen left. According to the rules, he was not supposed to touch anything on the refining platform after finishing his refinement. That was so that the people in charge could confirm there had been no cheating. When Long Chen walked out, he saw Li Kang waiting for him. Long San, why have you come out as well? Did you fail? Don't worry about it. You can try again in two months. Temporary failure isn't a big deal. Comforted Li Kang. HMPH. Disciples that get a free pass into the test only get one shot. If he wants to try again, he'll have to get in the top thousand first. You think he's qualified sneered a disciple. Long Chen was enraged inside. How were there so many idiots? It wasn't as if he had provoked these people. He stared icily at the speaker. That person instantly jumped in terror. All his hair stood on end as he felt like he was being stared at by an ancient monster. He involuntarily retreated a few steps, but then he felt that this action was very embarrassing, and his embarrassment turned into anger. Brat, are you asking for a beating? Long Chen ignored him, pulling Li Kang to an empty corner. He asked, have Chai Li Huo and Fang Chang come? Long Chen truly wanted to know this. Fang Chang and Chai Li Huo were qualified to come to Pill Valley. He just didn't know if they had. No, Li Kang shook his head. I feel like they definitely know about the situation over here, which is why they don't want to come. The two of them are peak geniuses in a place like the Eastern Wasteland. But if they came to Pill Valley, they would only be able to crawl at other people's feet. They definitely don't want such a thing. Long Chen nodded. The Huo, Chai, and Fang families had been in charge of the Eastern Wasteland's Pill Tower. The Huo family had been destroyed. While the Chai and Fang family heads had been killed by Long Chen, Fang Chang and Chai Li Huo had very likely become the heads of their respective families, being the local rulers of the Eastern Wasteland. Long Chen felt like the two of them didn't like being constrained. Furthermore, they weren't infatuated with alchemy. By staying in the Eastern Wasteland, it showed that the two of them would rather be the heads of a chicken than the back of a bull. Long Chen felt some emotion when he thought of the two of them. The two of them weren't bad people, and he had been brothers with them Novaloon.com but their two family heads had been greedy for his earth flame and tried to kill him. Moreover, 
he had been the one to kill the two of them. At the same time as he had killed them, he had severed his ties with Fang Chang and Chai Li Huo. If they were to learn that it was Long Chen who had killed their ancestors, no matter the reason, they wouldn't be able to forgive him. Even if they were so magnanimous as to not get revenge on him, they wouldn't be able to stay brothers. So this relationship had been severed at that time. Hearing that they hadn't come comforted him, as well as disappointed him. This kind of feeling was hard to describe with words. He chatted a bit more with Li Kang. After all, they were like people from the same rural town who had once more reunited. When Li Kang told him about how hard things had been on him in the past three years, even his eyes turned red. These three years had been rough. After all, this place was Pill Valley. Everyone was advancing as fast as they could and alchemy was the only thing that mattered. The pressure was great enough to drive a person insane. Without a person to complain to, his grievances all spilled out upon encountering Long Chen. Long Chen was speechless. Within Pill Valley, you had to be prepared to be bullied and to face immense pressure. But at least there was no danger to their lives. So a person should know when to be satisfied. Long Chen had spent these three years in a tempest of blood and fire. He had always been struggling at the border between life and death. Therefore, he was the one envious of Li Kang's life. As time passed, more and more disciples finished the test and walked out of the lounge. Once the final disciples left, the elders also came out. The disciples immediately stood orderly and quietly when the elders appeared. Everything became silent. The top three disciples of this trial are as follows. Long San, Zhang Yao, and Yu Sijia. Congratulations once this was announced. Countless eyes turned toward Long Chen, all of them filled with shock. Those people who had mocked him were especially shocked. They had never imagined this brat would be able to charge his way into the Divine Pill Hall as soon as he arrived in Pill Valley. Long San, congratulations Li Kang was also shocked. He hadn't expected Long San to be this outstanding even within Pill Valley. Thanks. If you need anything in the future, just ask. Long Chen patted Li Kang on the shoulder. No matter how he put it, they were from the same place. Helping him out when he could was natural. Li Kang immediately became indescribably grateful. To form a good relationship with one of the Divine Pill Hall's disciples was a huge honor to him. The other two disciples who passed were shouting excitedly. They were Jade Core disciples, and this chance had been hard fought by them. One of them even wept silently. The other disciples were envious. After the announcement, they scattered. Long Chen and Li Kang had only just left when they saw Zhao Xiang waiting for them. He immediately smiled upon seeing Long Chen. Long San, congratulations on your first victory. Truly well done, praised Zhao Xiang. His talent far surpassed his expectations. Originally, he had been a bit worried. After all, he had given Long Chen too little time to prepare. And then the trial had been to refine the soul-gathering heart-tempering pill. But Long Chen had taken first place. It could be seen how terrifying his talent was. Let's go. Protectors Huo has already prepared a wine feast for you. Zhao Xiang pulled Long Chen away. In a luxurious palace within Pill Valley, there was a large table packed with delicacies and fine wine. When Long Chen arrived, he jumped in shock. Other than Huo Xiang Xiang's group. There was another white-haired elder sitting at the head position. Even Zhuo Xiang Xiang was standing to the side of this elder with a respectful expression. The white-haired man turned to Long Chen. His eyes were electric, seeming to pierce Long Chen's body. It was like all his secrets were laid bare. Not bad. His spiritual strength can be classified as monstrous. It's too bad you didn't notice him earlier. Otherwise, he wouldn't be that much weaker than the pill fairy. The elder sighed. Long San, hurry and greet Senior Bishi, said Zhuo Xiang Xiang. Disciple Long San greet Senior Bishi. Long Chen was shocked. This elder soul energy was terrifying. With just a look, it had felt like he had used a ruler to measure his soul. Furthermore, for Zhuo Xiang Xiang to call this elder senior, it was clear his status was shocking. Long Chen didn't know, but this elder's name was Dan Bishi. He was one of Pill Valley's 12 Grand Elders. He was someone with true authority. Within Pill Valley, although the Valley Master's authority was the greatest, it wasn't absolute. If the 12 Grand Elders were against his orders, 
they could reject the Valley Master's orders. Amongst the Twelve Grand Elders, Dan Bishi was one of the representatives of the radical faction. Long Chen's stunning display had caused Suo Xiangxiang to invite him over. Long San, I saw everything during the trial. If a young person didn't go a bit wild, they would simply waste their youth. If you clearly have the power, how can you allow others to bully you? Said Dan Bishi. But disciple doesn't like fighting. I'd rather be an obedient disciple. It's just my character, said Long Chen shyly. But even with how thick his face was, he felt it reddening slightly. Even he didn't believe his words. That's no good. We'll need to temper his character. Dan Bishi shook his head. Senior Bishi, how about you accept Long San as your titular apprentice? That way Long San will have the confidence and backing to act when he needs to. Probed Suo Xiangxiang. Hmm, that's a good idea. Long San, you are now my titular apprentice. But there's no need to kowtow. If your display satisfies me in the future, we can become formal apprentice and master later, said Dan Bishi. Clearly, with his status, not just anyone could become his apprentice. They wanted him to kowtow? Long Chen cursed inside. But hearing that it wasn't the case relieved him. What are you just standing there for? Shouldn't you hurry up and call Senior Bishi Master? Zhao Xiang nudged Long Chen. He was excited. If Long Chen took Dan Bishi as his master, he would be truly rising. Apprentice greets Master, said Long Chen helplessly, bowing. Inside, he felt as irritated as if he had just eaten a fly. How had he ended up with such a garbage master? Good. Long San, you can go. I still have some things to discuss with them. Dan Bishi nodded and sent Long Chen off, but no one noticed that the moment Long Chen called him master, a faint black chi had appeared on Dan Bishi's forehead. Chapter 1335 He died? Translator, born to be the next morning, an emergency bell rang throughout Pill Valley. Long San, not good. Your master passed away. Zhao Xiang pushed open the door to Long Chen's room with a panicked expression. He died. Long Chen was startled. Hadn't he been perfectly fine yesterday? He had even said that he wanted Long Chen to kowtow to him in the future. How did he die? What happened? Long Chen put on a mournful expression, but he didn't particularly care. I'm not sure about the details. I heard that a problem occurred in his cultivation last night. I don't have the qualifications to learn about such matters. So hurry and come with me. Protectors who wants to see you. Zhao Xiang brought Long Chen directly to a secluded area in the back of Pill Valley. This place was called Crane Cry Mountain. Its meaning was that the dead could fly to heaven on the back of a crane while leaving their cry in the human world. Only experts with the highest authority in Pill Valley could have their ashes buried here. An alchemist's body was not buried within the earth directly. Instead, it was turned to ashes by fire. In their life, they refined heaven and earth. In their death. They refined themselves. This was the best ending for an alchemist. In fact, when alchemists felt themselves reaching the end of their longevity, they would refine themselves with their own pill flame, allowing their soul to merge with heaven and earth. As for alchemists who died suddenly, they needed their close family and friends to send them off with their pill flame. Crane Cry Mountain is a protected region. Zhao Xiang had only just brought Long Chen over when two life star experts blocked their way. This is Long San, Senior Bishi's final apprentice. He must be allowed to send his master off, explained Zhao Xiang. Even Zhao Xiang, a life star expert, didn't have a high position in Pill Valley. That was because their statuses were not decided by cultivation base, but by whose alchemy skill was greater. So he didn't dare to be the slightest bit rude to these two. Hearing his explanation, one of them walked inside. When he returned, he was shaking his head. You're too late. Senior Bishi's ashes have already been buried. They're still in the midst of the ceremony. So you should leave. Hearing that he had already been turned to ashes, Long Chen was delighted inside. That was a good thing for him. Now he didn't need to kowtow to that dead ghost. Long Chen and Zhao Xiang had no choice but to leave. A few hours later, Zhuo Xiangxiang personally came to see Long Chen. Long San, don't grieve. Although Senior Bishi passed away, you are still his apprentice, and you still have his support. I came here to tell you a few things. First of all, your timid character must be changed for me, 
said Suo Xiang Xiang sternly. But, Long Chen had a conflicted expression. He wanted to say he was a naturally well-behaved person. There's no bots. Senior Bishi passed away, causing us to lose one of our members amongst the twelve grand elders. Someone will be promoted to replace him very quickly. And based on the current situation, there are only two people qualified to take his spot. And they are both on the side of the conservative faction. This situation isn't favorable to us. Pill Valley's higher-ups don't care about the competition between disciples. They only care about results. If you continue being a coward, let me tell you, you won't even be able to calmly cultivate. All kinds of people will cause all kinds of problems for you. And once you fall into the bottom three rankings, Pill Valley's iron rules will still kick you out. And no one will be able to save you, said Suo Xiang Xiang coldly. You mean if anyone wants to bully me? I have to counterattack, said Long Chen nervously. No, you're not counterattacking. You must be unbridled and arrogant. Do you understand how to do that? With your current power and with your status as Senior Bishi's final apprentice, you have enough capital to be arrogant, said Suo Xiang Xiang. But Master said I'm just an apprentice in name, said Long Chen, lacking confidence. You are no longer a titular apprentice. You are his final apprentice before his death. In fact, you are the apprentice senior Bishi cared about the most before dying. Understand, said Suo Xiang Xiang profoundly. How could Long Chen not understand? Now that Dan Bishi was dead, they could say whatever they wanted. This was his best shield. Long San, remember, only useful people can get more resources. And right now, we are lacking manpower. This is a great opportunity for you. If you can grab hold of it, you will soar immediately. If you can't, you'll only be able to live a sad life. Think about it yourself. I still have things to do. So if you need anything, you can go ask Zhao Xiang after saying that. Zhuo Xiang Xiang fled hastily as if he really was busy. It seemed Dan Bishi's death had been quite a blow to their side. Long San, this really is a rare opportunity. It's time for you to show your skills. However. Let me warn you that Pill Valley is far more complicated than you imagine. The power of the conservative faction far surpasses ours. Within Pill Valley, if you want to have the right to speak, you need to bring out your power. Even the 3,000 disciples of the Divine Pill Hall have the right to vote on Pill Valley's decisions. Although this vote is not absolute and can be overturned, it has power. The Divine Pill Hall's disciples are split into three factions. To put it simply, they are the conservative faction, the radical faction, as well as some opportunists who just watch. But even if they're just opportunists, their votes are important. There are many conservative faction disciples in the Divine Pill Hall, and they are powerful. Due to these factions, once you enter the Divine Pill Hall, you will definitely be bullied by others and unable to focus on alchemy or cultivation. Your accomplishments might just end right there, and once you're squeezed out, you won't have another chance. That's why Protector's Huo's words are absolutely correct. You not only need to counterattack, but you must also be unbridled. If you only knock them down as they come, do you know how much energy you'll waste in the end being entangled by them? You must be arrogant. You must be aggressive. You must kill one to warn a hundred. You have to make it so no one dares to provoke you. That's the only way to establish your power. Otherwise, no matter how great your talent is, having to spend all your time dealing with those people will end with you being squeezed out sooner or later. Furthermore, Protectors Huo has even asked you to be arrogant and show your power. Other than to establish your power within the Divine Pill Hall, it's to put on a show for those opportunists and to see if you can pull in some of their votes. Although they won't easily join our faction, your influence will sway them over when voting. That's very important. Do you understand? Long San. Zhao Xiang explained it very clearly. If Long Chen still didn't understand, he would be an idiot. But he nervously said, But I'm really not good at this. After all, I'm a well behaved person. So what? All you have to do is know how to release yourself. Let all the resentment you've accumulated in your heart explode. For example, when others mock you, you can go up and directly slap them. You can do anything as long as you don't kill them. Ah, how are your battle skills? Asked Zhao Xiang. Battle skills? 
I'm not good at fighting either, said Long Chen crestfallenly. Is that so? That's fine. Alchemists aren't supposed to fight, so it's normal. I'll get some brawl fighting skills for you to learn. Remember, within Pill Valley, you cannot fight using your Pill Flame magical arts. That's a blasphemy to Pill Valley, and is harshly punished, warned Zhao Xiang. Why is that? Because Pill Flames are meant to refine pills. Using Pill Flames to fight in Pill Valley is an insult. Don't you see that while I'm at the Life Star Realm? I have to be polite in front of soul transformation disciples? That's because my alchemy path has reached its end, and I had no choice but to switch to become a fighting flame cultivator. The difference in status between a flame cultivator and an alchemist is like the difference between heaven and earth, sighed Zhao Xiang. Within Pill Valley, if your alchemy skills could no longer improve, Pill Valley would order you to become a powerful fighting flame cultivator. You would no longer cultivate alchemy arts, but the strongest flame battle skills. These flame cultivators were not very important to Pill Valley. They were viewed as nothing more than thugs hired to protect the house. Normally, dual martial pill cultivation was a dead end. True alchemists would not cultivate fighting techniques and instead focus completely on alchemy. If they split their time and energy between these two paths, they would be lost. They might find having powerful strength to be delightful, and because of their flame nature, they would become warlike and explosive, unable to calmly focus on refining. They would have severed their alchemy path. That was why Zhao Ziyang's alchemy skills had sharply dropped after becoming a flame cultivator. He was unable to even refine the pills he himself needed. So that's what it was. Long Chen came to a sudden comprehension. No wonder these Pill Valley disciples looked so weak to him. So they only knew how to refine pills and had no idea how to fight. But then, that made sense when he thought about it. There was no fighting or danger within Pill Valley. All they needed was powerful alchemy skills to be a supreme existence. That was a good thing. Wouldn't he end up becoming a lion amongst rabbits here? Anyone who started getting arrogant with him could be directly slapped. All right, I'll try it. I won't let down protectors who owes earnest hopes for me. Long Chen clenched his teeth as if making his resolve. Just remember not to use your pill flame to attack. Otherwise, you'll be severely punished. I have some fundamental fighting techniques here. They're very simple. So take a look and try them out. I'm sorry, but I went from an alchemist to a flame cultivator. So I don't know any bare-handed fighting moves. I can't teach you any of that and you'll have to figure it out on your own. But with your comprehension skills, it shouldn't be a problem. In any case, just remember, you must be brazen, and you must be vicious. Pill Valley has countless miraculous medicines and pills, so even the harshest injuries can be healed in no time, said Zhao Xiang. All right, I won't disappoint everyone. Whoever bullies me will end up with all their teeth on the ground. Long Chen clenched his fists with a fierce expression. This turn of events was truly amazing. It just so happened that he specialized in this. The next day, after arranging everything, Long Chen was brought toward the back of Pill Valley by a disciple. What surprised Long Chen was that Pill Valley was actually an island surrounded by water, and there was a long river splitting it in two. He had to cross a bridge, and eventually, a mountain gate appeared before him. Adopt this mountain gate were words written in violet gold. Divine Pill Hall. As soon as they passed through the gates, a burst of fragrance blew into him, and the sounds of birds chirping rang out. He saw pavilions dotted across the land, streams of water, ancient trees, thick vines, as if this was a beautiful garden. Chapter 1336 You dare to spit at me? Translator, born to be as soon as he walked in. Two soul transformation experts checked his badge before letting him continue. Long Chen had originally thought that the Divine Pill Hall would be a huge classroom with disciples studying diligently. He had imagined that it would be a boring life of constantly facing strict teachers and pill furnaces. But the scene before him was completely different from what he had imagined. This place was a wonderland. It was a large change from the hasty tempo of alchemy outside. The green grass was like a carpet, and the air was pure and clear, almost like it could cleanse a person's heart and soul. As he walked along the stone path, he suddenly heard tinkling laughter. That laughter was full of delight. Turning at the corner, 
he saw several maidens chatting happily in a few swings hanging from large trees. The maidens looked young, and each of them was a rare beauty. They were playing happily. Long Chen stood in the distance, looking at those happy maidens. He suddenly thought of Meng Chi, Tang Wan'er, Chu Yao, Yu Ziaokian, and Yi Zhikyu. If one day they could leave this world of slaughter and find a wonderland like this, he would accompany them like this every day. They would have a pile of kids, and he wouldn't trade such a future even for the chance to become a god. Without realizing it, Long Chen became absent-minded and simply stood there like a wooden block. The more he stared, the more fed up he became with this world. Oh, there's a new junior brother there, and he looks very young and handsome. Hey, junior brother, do you want to come and play? One of the maidens saw Long Chen. She wasn't the slightest bit bashful or embarrassed. She even invited him to join them. The other maidens stared at him curiously. Although three people would get to enter this place every two months, those people were mostly Jade Core experts. Someone like Long Chen with his foundation forging cultivation base was rare. More importantly, he was truly handsome. Long Chen smiled and courteously said, Thank you big sisters, but I still have some things to do. I won't disturb you. Long Chen didn't even know how long it had been since he had smiled like this. This smile of his made him look like an innocent boy from next door, and it was very warm. He could sense that these maidens were innocent and naive. They had no malice toward him. That was why his smile was very natural and sincere. Hey, junior brother, wait a moment. I have a bit of advice, said one of them. Advice? Please, tell me. Long Chen was startled. The maiden stopped swinging and walked toward Long Chen. One of them said, Seeing what a nice boy you are, I'll tell you this. Once you're in the Divine Pill Hall, don't join any faction. Just stay neutral. Otherwise, it'll be troublesome. The maidens all looked around, afraid others would hear them. Thank you for the warning. I understand. Long Chen was grateful. These maidens were clearly also neutral. The ones that Zhao Xiang had called opportunists but they had taken the danger of offending both factions to warn him, and that made him grateful. At least, there were still some good people in the cultivation world. Although they were few, it was because they were so few that they were to be treasured. But Long Chen was going to have to disappoint them. He had long since chosen his faction. Don't you know it's not good to randomly gossip just at this moment? Three people walked over. The three were all men. The one who had spoken was their leader and he was a large and sturdy man. Long Chen immediately laughed upon seeing them. Inside the Divine Pill Hall, the male disciples wore white robes and the female disciples wore red robes. But the ones in factions had special symbols as well. The conservative faction's disciples had a small shield mark on their collars to express their side. As for Long Chen's collar, there was supposed to be a small spear on it, but he had only just joined and hadn't gotten his robes yet. Seeing those three, he knew that they had come to greet him and give him a display of power to get him to join their side. The maidens all shrank back, clearly a bit afraid of these three. Don't you know it's not good to spout crap at others? Just how much shit did you eat to make your breath so smelly? Long Chen already had a backing and was fully confident. He no longer needed to endure this. Brat, you're courting death. That person charged forward, only to get punched in the face. His nose broke and blood splashed. Long Chen wasn't used to this. He found slapping people in the face much more pleasurable. But he didn't dare to bring out his face slaps because he was worried others would recognize him. His divine face slapping art was unrivaled and unique. It would be too easy for others to recognize it. Bastard. Attack together. That person held his nose in pain. With a furious roar, the three of them attacked him together. The maidens all let out startled cries not expecting Long Chen to actually take the initiative to attack them. Things instantly blew up. Long Chen almost laughed upon seeing them attacking him. These people really didn't know how to fight. If they only had this little skill, they'd have long since been killed in the outside world. Ignoring the other two, Long Chen grabbed their leader's hair and smashed his knee into the leader's head over and over again. With his power, he could have made the leader's head explode with a single kick. But to express that he wasn't experienced at fighting, he held back. The other two smashed their punches on his body, but it didn't even itch. Long Chen could ignore them. 
As for the one in his hands, despite how much Long Chen was holding back, he couldn't endure and fainted. Long Chen then tossed him to the ground, grabbing one of the others. He tossed him over his shoulder, smashing his head into the ground. That person's neck broke, and he lay on the ground, unable to move. The remaining fellow's expression changed and he turned to flee. But Long Chen grabbed his collar and roared. After hitting me so many times, you think you can run. Bang. Long Chen held his neck like he was holding a chicken. His opponent's feet couldn't even touch the ground. Long Chen punched him in the face. Brat, do you know who I am? Bang. You refuse to answer? You're a tough guy. Ha Long Chen's next punch landed on his eye, giving him a black eye. Bang. So, you have guts. You dare to roll your eyes at me. Seeing such a disdainful look, Long Chen helped him out and punched him again, giving him two black eyes. Bang. Fuck. You dare to spit at me. Long Chen became increasingly infuriated. Junior brother. He's not rolling his eyes. He just fainted. So his eyes rolled up. And he's not spitting at you. He's frothing at the mouth. If you keep beating him, he'll die. One of the maidens couldn't keep watching. Ah, is that so? Long Chen dropped him to the ground. His body twitched a few times before becoming still. Sorry, it was my first time fighting, and I didn't have any experience. Apologized Long Chen awkwardly scratching his head. The current Long Chen had once more returned to the appearance of an innocent boy. It was truly difficult to associate him with the previous Long Chen. Of course, it was a bit easier considering the three people lying on the ground. Big sisters, don't worry, I will remember your favor today. If you need any help in the future, just come and find me. Long San, Long Chen smiled at the maidens. Without even looking at the three bodies on the ground, he left. Once he vanished, the maidens looked at each other. It was unexpected that the seemingly weak boy was so powerful. Then looking at the three bodies, they were no longer in the mood for the swings. Not even daring to touch the three of them, they also fled. Long Chen followed the small path forward. This winding path went around many mountains and brought him to quite a few beautiful sceneries. He saw people napping. He saw people playing chess. And he even saw maidens playing the zither. The people here all seemed very leisurely. He could see that these people were borrowing external force to make themselves relax. They were doing their best to remove as much tension from their bodies as possible. People also saw Long Chen walking along the path. They nodded toward him slightly in greeting. And Long Chen also nodded back. But there were also people who icily glanced at him and then continued with whatever they were doing. There were even some who had clear hostility for him. Long Chen estimated that these people were probably near the bottom of the rankings. His arrival was a threat to them. As he continued forward, he saw fewer and fewer people. He also saw people with spears on their collars, marking them as people on his side. But they didn't express any emotion upon seeing him. They looked at him like he was a stranger. The people with shields on their collars also only looked at him indifferently. They didn't make any moves, which he found curious. Could it be that those three didn't run into me by coincidence? They were set up? So Zhuo Xiangxiang didn't publicly announce that I was part of the radical faction. But why? Why didn't they greet me? Are they trying to watch me for longer before deciding anything? Or was it that it depended on his display? If he was tough enough, they would let him join the radical faction. But if he wasn't, they would just toss him amongst the opportunists? Just as Long Chen was wondering about Zhuo Xiangxiang's goal and walking with his head down, he saw a pair of eyes staring at him with surprise. Oh, it's been a long time. Are you still well? Long Chen smiled and greeted that slim and beautiful figure. Chapter 1337 Duan Xiang Kiyo Translator Born to be that figure was precisely the Eastern Wasteland's alchemy genius. Duan Xiang Kiyo. It had been several years since they had seen each other. Duan Xiang Kiyo's appearance hadn't changed much, but there was a change in her eyes. Her life in Pill Valley hadn't been very easy. Long San, you finally come. Duan Xiang Kiyo was sitting in a pavilion. She had a massive bone book in her hands and had been in the midst of studying it. The secular world's books were normally written on paper or beast hide, with insects. Most ancient records were recorded with spiritual jade plates. 
One reason was because they were easy to use, and another was because they lasted a long time. But they also had a drawback. That was that high-level runes could not be recorded within them. That was why sects would use the bones of high-ranking magical beasts to create bone books. These bone books could record runes clearly. Furthermore, they even contained the spiritual mark of the expert that carved the runes, making it easier for others to comprehend them. Duan Xiang Kiao was a beauty in her own right. She had delicate and pretty features, almond eyes and cherry lips. Adding on her petite figure, she was definitely lovable. Now looking at Long Chen, she had a complicated expression. Scooting over slightly, she said, Please, sit. Then I won't stand on courtesy Long Chen sat beside her. He couldn't help saying, Thinking about past events truly makes a person emotional. That's true. Back in the eastern wasteland, I remember that we were on opposite sides. At that time, you were quite fearful. Duan Xiang Kiao also thought of many things that had happened in the eastern wasteland. She smiled. Back then, it had been Long Chen, Chai Li Huo, and Fang Chang against Huo Wu Fang. The fighting between them had been very intense. After the competition, Duan Xiang Kiao had left the eastern wasteland with the tower ancestor. She didn't know what had happened later. Aren't you the one who's doing well in Pill Valley? In the future, I'll need senior apprentice sister Xiang Kiao to look after me. Long Chen smiled. After all, Duan Xiang Kiao had come here three years before him. She had to know more about the Divine Pill Hall than he did. I wouldn't dare to say I could look after you. Nor do I dare to accept you calling me senior apprentice sister. Just protecting myself is difficult enough. In the monthly rankings, I'm always in the bottom 30. I don't know when I'll be squeezed out. Duan Xiang Kiao shook her head. Just being able to enter the Divine Pill Hall is amazing enough. Comforted Long Chen. It seemed Duan Xiang Kiao hadn't been doing too well. Being at the bottom of the rankings of the Divine Pill Hall meant that she had to worry about being expelled at all times. Long San, you've only just joined the Divine Pill Hall and you have two months to improve yourself. You have to take advantage of this time to enter the Divine Pill Pavilion to study. There are countless ancient tomes that will be very beneficial for you. Also, don't join the competition between factions, or it'll be very troublesome. You won't even be able to focus on cultivating. If a newcomer joins a faction, they won't be able to establish footing at all. Warned Duan Xiang Kiao. Newcomers would be unable to establish footing? Long Chen instantly understood why Huo Xiang Xiang hadn't announced what side Long Chen was on from the start. It was to give Long Chen a chance to establish his own footing. In truth, Long Chen's guess was only half right. Huo Xiang Xiang wanted him to quickly establish his footing inside the Divine Pill Hall. He possessed his own unique status in the Divine Pill Hall. But as a newcomer, if he expressed which side he was on from the start, the other side would immediately try to suppress him. It would place a target on him Noveloon.com that was why Huo Xiang Xiang had decided to let Long Chen start off on his own. In any case, he had his status as Dan Bishi's final apprentice. There was no need for him to be timid. Now he was just quietly watching him. In any case, with Long Chen's talent, Zhuo Xiang Xiang wasn't worried about him getting kicked out of the Divine Pill Hall in two months. The radical faction was hoping for Long Chen to explosively grow under the pressure. After all, they didn't need a useless coward. All right, I understand. Long Chen nodded. The two factions will use both soft and hard tactics to force you to join them. As long as you refuse to join either side and stay neutral, they won't bully you too much. Continued Duan Xiang Kiao. Why did this feel so childish? But then he thought about it. These disciples hadn't encountered anything other than alchemy. Their intelligence was truly like that of children. You still don't know how to check the rankings? Asked Duan Xiang Kiao. Ah, uh, I really don't. Duan Xiang Kiao asked for Long Chen's badge and pressed down on a protruding part of its back. The back of the badge actually flipped over, and a small mirror-like crystal appeared from inside. There were designs carved into it that he couldn't understand. Rank 2306? How could your ranking be so high after only just joining the Divine Pill Hall? Duan Xiang Kiao was filled with disbelief. 
It had to be known that the disciples that had only just joined had low rankings, but as a special treatment for newcomers, as long as they weren't too weak, they wouldn't appear in the last three spots at first. This was a chance for the newcomers to benefit from joining the Divine Pill Hall, but usually their ranking would still be in the bottom 10. That was why Long Chen's rank shocked Wan Xiang Kiyo. How are the rankings decided? asked Long Chen. He didn't care about his ranking. In any case, he knew he wouldn't be at the bottom. The rankings are determined by the proctors through a comprehensive evaluation of the disciples. It's very accurate. Long San, it seems your prospects will definitely be limitless. Remember to look after me. Duan Xiang Kiyo smiled. But of course. As people from the same region, we should naturally help each other. Long Chen patted his chest confidently. Seeing Li Kang and Duan Xiang Kiyo in Pill Valley had truly made him feel like meeting old friends. However, if you're joining the neutral faction, don't go running off to the inner sect disciples. It will draw ire from others. That's because everything about the Divine Pill Hall is supposed to be secret. New inner disciples that join have to think of their own way to survive. If you expose what's happening here, both factions will be offended. Thereafter, no matter how good your talent is, you won't be able to survive in the Divine Pill Hall, said Duan Xiang Kiyo. Long Chen now understood. No wonder Li Kang had said that Duan Xiang Kiyo hadn't spoken to him after joining the Divine Pill Hall. So there was such an unwritten rule. He supposed that made sense. If everyone who joined the Divine Pill Hall entered the neutral faction, the conservative and the radical factions wouldn't be able to get new members. No wonder those maidens had offended those three fellows by warning him not to join a faction. So their words had been taboo. Now, he felt even more grateful to them. In this age, everyone only swept their own doors of snow. Who cared if other people's roofs were covered in frost? The number of kind people was truly low. Even though Long Chen and Duan Xiang Kiyo could count as old acquaintances. Her telling him so much was probably also dangerous, as it could offend others. He had to remember this favor. Long San, try to be Loki. Hurry to the Divine Pill Pavilion. That's where all of Pill Valley's alchemy tomes are gathered. It would be best if you went in and didn't come out until the next test. Cherish this time to study, said Duan Xiang Kiyo. All right, I'll go and take a look. Long Chen nodded and rose. Suddenly. Over ten of the Divine Pill Hall's disciples surrounded the two of them. Long San, you really are brazen. You dare to beat our people. These people were wearing the same robes as the three people Long Chen had beaten. Seeing these people, Duan Xiang Kiyo paled. She was clearly afraid of them. Little slut, you're even trying to form a relationship with Long San? It seems you don't want to continue staying in the Divine Pill Hall. Pow. One of the disciples was in the midst of cursing Duan Xiang Kiyo when Long Chen slapped him across his face. Half his face caved in and he flew into the distance, fainting without even being able to let out a sound. Everyone jumped, including Long Chen. His slap was now a kind of instinct. If he hadn't managed to hastily pull back 90% of his power, that person would have died. The main thing was that Long Chen was unable to just stand there as someone in front of him pointed and cursed at a weak woman. He had almost caused a calamity for himself. All of you scram. If any of you targets her again, I'll kill you all. Long Chen was truly infuriated now. He might be fine if they targeted him, but targeting the people by his side was unacceptable. His furious roar drew quite a few others in the surroundings over. Brat. It seems you don't want to stay in the Divine Pill Hall anymore or the lead disciple. Fuck your mother. Long Chen suddenly attacked. That person let out a cold snort and dodged his hands. Sending a kick at Long Chen's ribs. He was actually an expert at close range combat. This attack was sharp and well practiced. The disciples he had brought along all cheered. But their cheering was severed halfway like a knife had cut it. Long Chen had easily grabbed that person's leg. Fuck off. Long Chen threw him like a sandbag, doing a half spin before tossing him out. The disciples were startled and tried to catch him, but Long Chen had thrown him so strongly that these disciples were knocked away, vomiting blood. Amazing. Brother, you're so skilled. Can I know your name? Just at this moment, a group of people walked over. They had a small spear embroidered on their collars. I am Long San. 
Long Chen cupped his fists to these people. They were his people. Long San, the last apprentice of Senior Bishi. That person was delighted to hear this. Yes. And brother, you are. Haha. <laughs> this junior is Zhang Yutao. I didn't expect to encounter you, brother Long. Come. Let's go find a place to hold a welcoming feast. Zhang Yutao smiled. Long Chen nodded. When he said goodbye to Duan Xiang Kiao, he saw her worry. He knew that by joining Zhang Yutao's faction, he would be signing up for a lifetime of trouble. Long Chen smiled to tell her not to worry. He had long since joined this faction, and he left with Zhang Yutao's group. As for the disciples that Long Chen had beaten, they watched him leave with rancor. Chapter 1338 Berserk Blood Flame Translator Born to be at the top of a high mountain, where the clouds gently blew by, there was a glorious palace building. This was the true Divine Pill Hall. The Divine Pill Hall was a special place for disciples to practice alchemy. Behind the large palace building was an ancient pavilion. This was the Divine Pill Pavilion, being well known as one of the most important places in Pill Valley. It was packed with various alchemy secret arts and scriptures. Long Chen was currently holding a bone book. He was enthusiastically reading it, as it was secret art named the Explosive Blaze Art. This kind of secret art condensed flame energy into fighting skills. It possessed great power. Long Chen had been immediately attracted to it. The art described within it contained profound principles for the transformations of flames, which made it very difficult to understand. But its power was definitely terrifying. If he used Starfall in combination with it, Starfall's destructive power would greatly increase. How could Long Chen let this chance slip by? This was already his third day since joining the Divine Pill Hall. By the time Zhang Yutao had led Long Chen up the mountain, he had already explained the general situation. He also said that this was one of Zhuo Xiangxiang's tests for him. In truth, from the moment Long Chen had walked through the gates, to when he fought with the opposing side, to now, Zhang Yutao and the others had always been watching. Zhuo Xiangxiang had told Zhang Yutao that if Long Chen continued being such a coward, he could simply continue being bullied. He would only be pulled into their faction once he had finally had enough and attacked back. Furthermore, Zhang Yutao told Long Chen to maintain this kind of mood. Right now, the struggle between the two factions didn't leave room for face. Currently, the Divine Pill Hall had the Divine Spear Alliance and the Divine Shield Alliance. They represented the Radical Faction and the Conservative Faction respectively. If others heard this name, they might think the Conservative Faction was very modest and low-key. But the truth was that in order to make sure its power remained stable, the Divine Shield Alliance's disciples were all very arrogant Noveloon.com that was because only by being arrogant and showing their power could they intimidate more people and win more authority. In comparison, it was the Divine Spear Alliance that was weaker. Under the suppression of the Divine Shield Alliance, they found it very taxing to continue fighting. Their influence over the Divine Pill Hall's disciples as a whole was dropping. That was why the Divine Spear Alliance not only needed people with great alchemy arts but also someone who could draw enough influence. That was why if Long Chen continued being a coward, he wouldn't be very useful to the Divine Spear Alliance. They needed a disciple that dared to fight. Of course. The prerequisite was that this disciple's alchemy skills could keep up. That was why after telling Long Chen a few things, Zhang Yutao had sent Long Chen to the Divine Pill Pavilion to study. Long Chen wasn't interested in the alchemy arts here. Rather it was the magical arts and battle skills here that he needed. To ordinary disciples, his actions were the complete opposite of what they should be doing. The Divine Pill Hall's disciples were alchemists who cared about alchemy. To train in fighting techniques was not proper, but Long Chen was too lazy to bother with the strange looks people gave him. He needed to find a way to increase his repertoire of flame magical arts, because his pill sovereign memories only had knowledge of alchemy, but nothing of flame fighting techniques. Long San, let's go. I'll bring you to switch out your earth flame. Everything's been arranged, and someone's already holding the line for us. Zhang Yutao came and interrupted Long Chen's studying. That was because Long Chen had said that he needed a better earth flame. One of the main reasons that he only managed to refine three rings in the trial previously was because of his pill flame. 
He was unable to use Huo Long's power here, and the earth flame he had been given wasn't strong enough. That was why he had asked Zhang Yu Tao for a stronger earth flame. Now that he was helping out the Divine Spear Alliance, if he didn't dredge up some benefits for himself, he wouldn't be Long Chen. Furthermore, the Divine Spear Alliance had its own backing, so this was an easy task for them. But obtaining a new earth flame required accumulating a certain number of merit points in Pill Valley. Normally, these merit points were obtained by refining high-tier medicinal pills. But Long Chen didn't need to bother with this. Someone else would cough up the money for him. With someone already in line for him, he could go and directly pick out an earth flame. Long San, Protectors Huo has said that you can select an earth flame below rank 30. If you want a higher level earth flame, it will depend on your future display, whispered Zhang Yu Tao. There was envy in his eyes. To be able to pick out any earth flame ranked below 30 was an immense special treatment. Even Zhang Yu Tao's earth flame was only ranked 37th. That was the result of him working hard all these years. As for Long Chen, he had only just arrived and he could get a better one. Long Chen, you should pick the Berserk Blood Flame ranked 32nd. I heard your spiritual strength is powerful. If you can suppress the Berserk Blood Flame's Berserk nature, its power will probably be even greater than the Heart Incinerating Devil Flame ranked 31st, advised Zhang Yu Tao. That truly was the best option. If the Berserk Blood Flame wasn't so violent, it would probably be ranked 30th. Because it was too violent, using it to refine pills would require even more spiritual strength. Its power was definitely greater than the Heart Incinerating Devil Flame ranked 31st but it would take much more spiritual strength to use. All right, then I'll listen to Brother Uteo. I trust Brother Uteo would definitely make the best choice for me. Long Chen also knew that the Berserk Blood Flame was the best option for him, so he directly gave Zhang Uteo a favor. Zhang Uteo was overjoyed. In truth, one of Zhang Uteo's goals was to suck up to Long Chen. After all, he was Dan Bishi's final apprentice. Although Dan Bishi had died, could the final disciple of a Grand Elder possibly be an ordinary person? That was impossible. Zhang Yu Tao's talent wasn't particularly outstanding. Of course, he had managed to get into the Divine Pill Hall, but the reason for this was his ability to read others and the situation. So he could already tell Long Chen was someone with limitless potential. Treating Long Chen well now would definitely have many advantages. Zhan Yu Tao handled things very neatly. Even a private room had been prepared for Long Chen. When Long Chen received the Berserk Blood Flame, he directly went into seclusion to refine it. Long Chen took out its flame seed. It was devoured in one bite by Huo Long. Although it was ranked 32nd and the soul devouring Violet Flame was only ranked 36th, it was just a flame seed. So suppressing it was easy. Huo Long began to extract Long Chen's energy to undergo a transformation. The flame seed's power was too weak and unable to allow Huo Long to fully transform. It needed Long Chen's energy. As for Long Chen's spiritual Yuan, he couldn't use it for anything other than alchemy. So he allowed Huo Long to absorb as much as it wanted. Three days later, a blood-colored flame dragon appeared behind Long Chen, releasing a berserk aura. Huo Long, you have to hold back a bit. Think of a way to control your power, or refining pills won't be fun. This new berserk aura of Huo Long's was too strong, like a wild dragon who wanted to devour heaven and earth. Huo Long now had an urge to destroy this entire room. This meant that it had been greatly affected by the berserk blood flame, and it wasn't suitable for refining pills. But Huo Long let out a quiet roar, and its blood-colored flames vanished, replaced by violet flames. It was the soul-devouring violet flame. You, you can freely switch between them. Long Chen was shocked and delighted. Huo Long told him that it could repeatedly switch between the various flames it had devoured according to its memories. That meant Long Chen could use whichever flame he wanted to. He, good. Then I'll make sure you get to eat every single flame Pill Valley has to offer. Long Chen rubbed Huo Long's head with delight. If he allowed Huo Long to devour that many earth flames, Long Chen couldn't even imagine how strong it would become. Three days later, Long Chen came out. Zhang Yu Tao and the others had long since been waiting. Long San, 
You've only just joined the Divine Pill Hall and refined a new earth flame. Come, I'll bring you to a fun place so you can relax. Zhang Yuteo smiled a smile that only men could smile. Long Chen immediately thought of something and was about to decline when Zhang Yuteo dragged him away. Come, as a man, what are you so afraid of? If you don't relax, how will you be ready for the greater challenges? How is it? Isn't it relaxing? Zhang Yuteo looked at Long Chen with a mischievous smile. Long Chen was sitting in a bucket. Steam filled the air, bringing with it bursts of medicinal fragrance. Medicinal energy was entering his body through his pores, completely relaxing him. Most importantly, there were two maidens behind him gently massaging his back and rubbing medicinal elixirs on him. The two maidens were massaging him with their spiritual yuan. This was Long Chen's first time receiving such treatment. He couldn't help but sigh. You city people really get to enjoy some amazing things. Amazing. Through this medicinal bath, Long Chen felt his tension completely vanish. In truth, his nerves were constantly taut now that he was in Pill Valley, as he had to be on guard to not expose his status. The pressure was immense. Long San, I didn't expect your body to be so buff. No wonder you're so strong. And those fellows aren't your match. Zhang Yuteo looked at Long Chen's arms enviously. Alchemists naturally had weak physical bodies. It was very rare for there to be someone with a body as well built as Long Chen's. Even the maidens massaging him were a bit red. Long Chen's body felt good under their hands. I had to fight for three years against sea demons to get this body. If I didn't eat them, they'd eat me, said Long Chen with his eyes closed. He, it's been tough on you. After the medicinal bath, Long Chen put his robes back on. He was completely refreshed. Come, it's getting late. Let's go eat. And later, there will be an even better program. Laughed Zhang Yuteo, leading Long Chen away. Chapter 1339 Pill Fairy Translator Born to be reporting to Protectors Huo, a secret letter has come from the Zhuanshan Dao sect side, within a private room. An elder bowed and presented Zhuo Xiang an envelope. Zhuo Xiang opened it and gave it a read. After that, he dismissed the elder and returned to a deeper room. This room actually had a small transportation formation. He activated it and arrived in a luxurious hall. In it, four elders were sitting with their eyes closed. Disciple Xiang greets grand elders. Zhuo Xiang immediately bowed to the four elders. Xiang. There's no need to be so polite. What's been happening in the Eastern Xuan region? Asked one of the elders kindly. Reporting to Grand Elder, the Eastern Xuan region has returned to calm. Disciple has already arranged for everything, and the disturbance has calmed down. Furthermore, due to this matter, Disciple spent some resources as compensation to the sects who lost experts to the Zhuanshan Dao sect in exchange. Their unity is even greater than before reported Zhuo Xiangxiang. That grand elder nodded. Xiangxiang, I trust the way you handle things. The matter of the Zhuanshan Dao sect isn't your fault. If we have to blame someone, we can only blame that useless Dan Shang. He actually ruined such an easy thing, and you had to go wipe his bottom for him. Disciple also failed. I'm ashamed, said Zhuo Xiangxiang modestly. In truth, the Zhuanshan Dao sect's matter truly wasn't Zhuo Xiangxiang's fault. By the time he had taken over it, it was too late. Furthermore, there had been many details that his predecessor had known but he hadn't, causing him to be at a complete loss to do anything to Long Chen. Yes, to not be arrogant or prideful is correct. Are there any movements from the Zhuanshan Dao sect? Asked the Grand Elder. The Zhuanshan Dao sect seems to have run into a problem. They are currently looking all over to buy a heavenly kill and soul returning fruit. They've even sent some disguised disciples over to secretly purchase the Nine Revolution Soul Replenishing Pill. As reported by the eyes I have in the Zhuanshan Dao sect, the Zhuanshan Tower violently fluctuated several times during this short period. According to my guess, there are two possibilities. One is that Long Chen's underworld soul ghost curse has flared up and the Zhuanshan Tower is unable to completely suppress it. The other possibility is that the Zhuanshan Tower is attempting to forcibly remove the curse for Long Chen. Either case is very dangerous for Long Chen. 
and the fact that the Zhuangshan Dao sect is trying to secretly purchase the heavenly Kilin soul returning fruit and the nine revolution soul replenishing pill proves that he truly is in trouble. His soul has likely been damaged. Moreover, this underworld soul ghost curse was condensed by the life energy of many corrupt experts, let alone a foundation forging disciple. Even a life star expert would definitely die. Although the Zhuangshan Tower is powerful, Long Chen's cultivation base is still too low. The chances of it removing the curse from Long Chen are next to zero, said Huo Xiang. The underworld soul ghost curse was one of the corrupt path's most insidious curses. After considering that Ji Yui Yan had sacrificed so many experts and even stripped life star experts of their vitality to power it, there was no need to doubt its power. This curse was not a poison. It had no cure. Once struck by it, the curse would sink into a person's blood, body, bones, and soul, closely entwining with every part of them. Each time the curse flared, it would grow stronger. If you suppressed it once, the second time it would be twice as strong. That was why Huo Xiangxiang guessed that the Zhuangshan Tower was no longer able to fully suppress it. In truth, this was just a move by Li Xiangxuan. It was to make everyone think that Long Chen was still in the Zhuangshan Dao sect and that he was in grave danger. Those afflicted by the underworld soul ghost curse are essentially unable to remove it without the corrupt path's unique secret arts. That little fellow Long Chen probably won't be able to last much longer. How regretful. He likely has some large secrets. Sigh. Well, it doesn't matter. Right now, our situation in Pill Valley isn't very secure. Elder Bishi's sudden death is queer. He still had plenty of longevity left, and there were no oddities with his body. It's just that the flame of his soul was extinguished, sighed a grand elder. Could it be that someone was secretly scheming against Elder Bishi? said Huo Xiangxiang after a moment's hesitation. Don't randomly make guesses, chided a grand elder. Yes, disciple knows his mistake, the previous grand elder said. Those fellows are hidebound and refuse to advance, but they definitely wouldn't do such a thing. Having disciples fight for authority is already their limit. Furthermore, Elder Bishi's death came with no warning or any sign of a struggle. It couldn't be caused by an external force. Right now, the only possibility is that his Yuan spirit dissipated in his attempt to attack a higher realm. Although that was their only guess, was that really possible? By the time a person reached Elder Bishi's realm, they would always prepare everything and have guards before attacking higher realms. How could he have rashly attempted such a thing without telling anyone? These questions could only rot in Suo Xiangxiang's stomach. He didn't dare to say anything for fear of being scolded again. Originally, five of the Grand Elders were on our side. Now we're left with four, and our authority has also dropped. So, Xiangxiang. You have to work hard on the side of the Divine Pill Hall, said the Grand Elder. Yes, Disciple is dealing with it. I've already placed several chess pieces in the neutral power that are starting to show their use. Furthermore, that child Long San's display is not bad. If he's properly groomed, he'll become a powerful piece. And we also have geniuses like Yangsu and Dongs. They are absolutely capable of competing against the Pill Fairy and the others. The current situation in the Divine Pill Hall is gradually shifting in our favor, said Huo Xiangxiang. All right, then that's good. Just focus on the Divine Pill Hall and don't rush things. After all, we're currently at a disadvantage. So above all else, we need stability. As for the matter of the heaven-devouring forest, we've given them a warning. You did well on your way through it. We can't let them get used to being arrogant. For now. Let the Eastern Xuan region stay as is. After all, the Zhuangshan Dao sect and Heaven Splitting Battle sect are ancient sects. If we force things and put them in their place, it will cause panic. In the long run, it's not worth it. Furthermore, those old fellows definitely won't consent to using martial power. Just let them continue crawling for a while, said the Grand Elder. Yes, all right, you can go. Long Chen was brought to a restaurant by Zhang Yutao. It was by the riverside and had a wide view of the surrounding mountains. This restaurant had wine as its main attraction, and the price of everything here was based on merit points. Of course, it was Zhang Yutao who was treating Long Chen. 
Eight side dishes of delicacies paired with amazing wine made the scenery even more delightful. Alchemists had a lower capacity for food and wine. If this was the Zhuangshan Dao sect, or the Heaven Splitting Battle sect, they would definitely be drinking out of large bowls and chomping down on pieces of meat. But here, the wine cups weren't much bigger than a nostril. That left Long Chen a bit speechless. Were they really drinking wine? Or were they drinking poison? After just drinking a couple of cups, Long Chen could hear some footsteps from the entrance. A group of people slowly walked up the restaurant. New guests had arrived. This was the highest level of the restaurant, and only the Divine Pill Hall's disciples were qualified to enter it. Long Chen looked over at the staircase. The first thing he saw was a graceful figure gently stepping onto the floor. A beautiful figure appeared in his eyes. She had long legs, a small waist, and an abundant chest. Her hair fell naturally behind her like a waterfall, complementing her long, charming neck. That, in addition to her shapely eyebrows, almond eyes, jade cheeks, and peach face, she was a beauty that could topple a nation. Most attractive of all were her eyes. They were like limpid autumn waters, and light flowed within them in an enchanting manner. There was also a special aura around her. Although she was a peerless beauty, she gave off a friendly feeling, and even other women wouldn't be able to get jealous of her looks. The thing that shocked Long Chen was that he didn't sense any heavenly Tao energy nor the flame fluctuations specific to an alchemist. She was just like an ordinary mortal, but it was also like she had merged with heaven and earth. Just by existing, she possessed an indescribable Tao charm. Seeing Long Chen and Zhang Yuteo here, she was startled. She nodded slightly in greeting, and Long Chen also nodded back. As for Zhang Yuteo, he just blankly stared at her, unable to say a word. Long Chen was about to nudge him and ask who she was when a group of people followed behind the woman. There were over ten of them, men and women. One man in particular was standing behind her. He was very eye-attracting. He was tall and slender, with a perfectly placed nose and mouth, sword-like eyebrows, and bright eyes. He was extremely handsome. When the man saw Long Chen and Zhang Yuteo here, he frowned. Why are the two of you here? Do you not know that this place is already reserved? Long Chen frowned. What was going on? Reserved? I didn't hear that. Zhang Yuteo was also startled. Today is the Pill Fairy's 21st birthday. Everyone in the Divine Pill Hall knows this. Did you come here intentionally? Zhang Yuteo clapped his forehead, recalling something. He immediately apologized. Sorry, sorry, it slipped my mind. I apologize to Pill Fairy. We'll leave immediately. Long San, let's go eat somewhere else. Long Chen nodded. Since someone had reserved this place for their birthday, then they might as well go. Since we managed to meet by fate, why don't the two of you come and sit with us? Asked the woman magnanimously. That's okay. We don't know each other and we won't be able to eat and drink freely. Congratulations on your birthday. I wish you long-lasting beauty and fortune. Long Chen smiled and politely refused her invitation, as she had only invited them due to courtesy. He left with Zhang Yuteo. The woman was a bit surprised. Within Pill Valley, any disciple who saw her would view her like a heavenly goddess. They would be too nervous to even speak to her. But Long Chen's gaze had been calm when he looked at her. That made her feel that this person called Long San was very peculiar. The woman's expression was caught by the man behind her. He remained expressionless, but a bit of iciness had appeared in the depths of his eyes as he stared at Long Chen's back. Long Chen had only gotten halfway down the restaurant when he suddenly encountered another group of people coming up. One of them suddenly pointed at Long Chen and cursed. Bastard, you're the one who beat me. Fuck off. Long Chen hated it the most when people pointed at him, and he directly sent him flying with a kick. Chapter 1340 Taking a Risk Translator Born to be Bang That person was sent flying, and the people with him were infuriated, swarming over at Long Chen. Fuck, I'll go all out. Zhang Yuteo clenched his teeth and unleashed a flurry of fists, but as a result, he was immediately knocked out by a punch from the opposition. There were clearly experts in this group. Long Chen intentionally acted like he didn't know how to fight and was panicked. His fists just randomly flew around. Fuck. My balls. It was unknown if Long Chen was doing it on purpose. 
but several people suddenly held their crotches and rolled down the stairs. The pain made them feel like they were dying. The others weren't much better off. Long Chen's crazy counterattack bruised them badly, and they were forced away miserably. However, now Long Chen was also disheveled, and his robes had been torn in several spots. It clearly showed the principle that even a tiger couldn't block a pack of wolves. Stop. Just at this moment, an angry roar rang out. The Pill Fairies group had descended from the disturbance, and the roar came from that handsome man. Just at this moment, Long Chen tossed the final enemy to the ground. He pulled up Zhang Yutao and prepared to leave. Hold it, shouted the man. What, you want to invite me to eat? I've already said that since we're not familiar with each other, we shouldn't. Long Chen shook his head. Without even looking at that man, Long Chen dragged Zhang Yutao away. At this time, Zhang Yutao's face was black and blue, and one of his legs had been broken. He fished out a medicinal pill, and his injuries healed like he had never been injured. Zhang Yutao looked at Long Chen with shock. He hadn't expected Long Chen to be such a great fighter. Within the Divine Spear Alliance, Zhang Yutao was just a fighter. He was experienced in fighting, but the opposition also had experts on their side. He had carelessly been knocked out with a single punch. As for Long Chen, he had managed to beat them back. Although his appearance was a bit wretched now, his combat power was very shocking. What happened here? Roared the man, reporting to senior apprentice brother Zijin. This little brat only just became a disciple of the Divine Pill Hall, and he was arrogant, beating our people Ah, One of the disciples got up and pointed at Long Chen, but before he could finish speaking, Long Chen punched him in the face. Did your parents never teach you that it's rude to point at people when speaking? Demanded Long Chen. Let this matter end here. Don't end up incurring hatred. The pill fairy helplessly shook her head. Today was her birthday. In truth, she didn't like this kind of occasion, but she had had to come for appearance sake. Her mood had been bad from the start, and now she encountered such a thing. Just the fact that she didn't explode in anger already showed her restraint. All right, then I'll give the pill fairy face this time. Brat, just wait. We're not done yet. The handsome man glared at Long Chen. The threat in his words clear. Long Chen couldn't be bothered to care. This kind of threat was something he had gotten tired of hearing 800 years ago. And wasn't he still living just fine? Wait for what? My divine spear alliance isn't so easy to bully. Threatening others is only the display of the powerless. Today is the pill fairy's birthday. So we'll give her face. If it was your birthday instead. Jiang Zijin. My Divine Spear Alliance's people would immediately attack. So you should shut your mouth. Threats will just prove how much of a coward you are. Sneered Zhang Yutao, recovering his previous sharpness. Long Chen hadn't expected Zhang Yutao to be so fierce. If he hadn't misjudged, this Jiang Zijin was very likely a rank 9 celestial. The disciples here all focused on the Pill Dao, and due to the merger between their heavenly Dao energy and flame energy, it was more difficult to determine their celestial rank Novaloon.com but Long Chen felt intense dislike for heavenly Dao energy. So he could use that sense to tell that Jiang Zijin was very likely a rank 9 celestial. But he was not a flame cultivator. So his combat power probably wasn't very high. Zhang Yutao brought Long Chen away after leaving behind his tough words. Suddenly, the pill fairy opened her cherry lips. Junior apprentice brother. May I ask your name? We're all part of Pill Valley, and knowing each other's names will make it easier for us to greet each other in passing. The Pill Fairy had taken the initiative to ask for Long Chen's name, startling the disciples behind her. The handsome man's expression also sank slightly. Junior disciple is Long San. I hope senior apprentice sister will look after me in the future. Long Chen cupped his hands. He didn't feel any dislike for this gentle and graceful Pill Fairy. Other than his own beauties, his experience with other beautiful women was that they were all incredibly arrogant and narcissistic, as if this world's men should all lie beneath their skirts. But the pill fairy gave him a very comfortable feeling. She didn't stand on airs and seemed friendly. Seeing Long Chen leaving, the pill fairy involuntarily felt an emotion she hadn't felt before. Her intuition told her that Long San was not an ordinary person. It was as if his weak exterior hit a sleeping beast. This kind of feeling was very strange. 
She was lost in thought. The other people all stared in shock as the pill fairy watched Long Chen leave. These disciples felt forlorn and angry. As for Jiang Zijin, veins had started popping out on his forehead. Within the Divine Pill Hall, each disciple had a private building of their own. After Long Chen had returned to his own room, he stared blankly at the fundamental fighting skills that Zhao Xiang had left for him. On their way back, Zhang Yutao had told Long Chen that the pill fairy's name was Yu Qingxuan. She was the descendant of the current Valley Master, as well as Pill Valley's top beauty. Not only was she a beauty, but she was also a kind beauty with a graceful bearing. Although she stood in the ranks of the Divine Shield Alliance, even the opposing Divine Spear Alliance was extremely respectful to her. The Pill Fairy Yu Kingsuan simply stood in the Divine Shield Alliance's ranks, but she never targeted the Divine Spear Alliance. As long as someone ran into a problem with their alchemy, if she had time, she would always give them some pointers regardless of their faction. She was the most respected person in the Divine Pill Hall. That was why despite the fierce battle between the Divine Spear Alliance and Divine Shield Alliance, Yu Kingsuan's position in the hearts of all the disciples never changed. Long Chen wasn't interested in this clash between Spear and Shield. All he was focused on was finding a way to obtain the second volume of the Nirvana scripture. But even after all this time, he hadn't gotten a lead. If this continued, he would end up wasting too much time. Right now, he had been tossed in the pool known as Pill Valley. He needed to find a way to stand out. Otherwise, acting according to normal standards would take far too long. But if he suddenly soared out of nowhere, it would draw suspicion. He had to find a balance between the two. After a few days of investigation, he had noticed that the struggle within Pill Valley wasn't intense enough. If he wanted to stand out, he would need to intensify the conflict between the two factions. I'll have to take a risk. Long Chen suddenly made his decision. He needed to quicken his pace. Or at this rate, he probably wouldn't be able to obtain the Nirvana scripture even if he was given several years. The next day, Long Chen began immersing himself in the Divine Pill Pavilion. While it seemed like he was studying some ancient alchemy tomes, he was actually secretly learning flame magical arts. The Divine Pill Hall's flame magical arts were rarely perused. Only flame cultivators would go look at them. Flame spirit merger. Long Chen's heart suddenly pounded. He had found an amazing magical art that allowed him to merge with the flame spirit beast. After using this art, he could use his body to control the spirit beast's flame, or use the spirit beast's body to unleash magical arts. Damn, what a terrifying magical art. I have to learn it. He was delighted and quickly recorded its contents. HMPH. Do you think such things are for you to look through? Just as this moment, a disciple grabbed the bone book out of Long Chen's hands. Long Chen was infuriated. In the past few days, some people had been continuously making things hard on him, but it was forbidden to use martial force in the Divine Pill Pavilion, so he had endured until now. However, he couldn't endure any longer. Fuck your mother. Long Chen directly smashed his fist into that person's jaw, grabbing his hair. Long Chen smashed the guy's head into his knee. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck your mother. Long Chen accented each word with a blow. The sound immediately drew the surrounding people. That person had already fainted. Then, Long Chen tossed him to the ground and shattered each of his limbs. That clear sound raised people's hair. A-H-H-A miserable shriek resounded throughout the Divine Pill Pavilion. He had woken from the pain. That person's miserable shriek had only just rung out when Long Chen stamped a foot on his mouth. This blow was exceptionally vicious, and that person's head almost exploded. Stop. Just at this moment, people from the Divine Shield Alliance rushed over. Long Chen roared. So, you don't want to let me cultivate in peace? Then I'll kill you all. Long Chen seemed like a furious lion. He caught one of the disciples' punches and then pulled, forcibly ripping his arm off. Die. Long Chen punched that disciple in the chest, caving it in. Thereafter, he grabbed his leg and smashed him at the others. If you don't want to let me cultivate, then you can all die. Long Chen fiercely swung that person around. Blood flew and the sound of bones breaking continuously rang out. Stop. At this moment, a life star expert rushed over. But Long Chen seemed to be insane and ignored him. 
He repeatedly punched a disciple who was lying on the ground. That disciple coughed up blood repeatedly, filled with terror. Suddenly, a large hand slammed into the back of Long Chen's head. He immediately fainted.